Tony played <laughs> with friends. Wait, that's Luigi now? That's Luigi on the bottom well, right. Well, things have really changed. That's where he lives now? Yeah, he embezzled a lot of money. He lives in Luigi Tower. He's he's an elite now? Yeah. yeah. Can you relate to the common folk? No. Are we Gobbly or Tooper? I forget. <laughs> I forget too. Do gobbly maybe. All right. Well, well, gobbly is gonna make some progress. Apparently, somebody after after Luigi got arrested. Apparently, the people who were flying drones around that building. <laughs> I'm trying to look some crazy <laughs> inside of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that looks so good. That looks real. All right, I was enjoying it, but the, like that secondary motion on that tree was too much. So uh, yeah, a, a starting early with this one, huh, Chris? <laughs> a bus wouldn't actually move a whole tree. So. Starting early, <laughs> and also there's a literal toad driving a bus. Um, oh, cool! It updated. Wow, just what I always wanted it to do. I'm glad that happened, bro. So this is confirmed that buses exist in the Mario universe. It, yeah, it pretty much does. I mean, Mario Sunshine had a full-on like airplane. Like, yeah, like a like a they jet had liner airplane. Like Express, yeah. yeah. Just does Luigi it. hide the fact that he owns all this property from his brother? I think that's just like a, a dead body in there. Yeah, see, there's the ghost of it. <laughs> he what killed the dog. A, what is that a dead <laughs> thing of? What would that thing look alive? It's a dolphin it, dog. Yeah. This is. Luigi's Mansion 3, technically. Yeah. The, the second one was like a DS game or something, and I didn't play it. I don't think anyone else did either. So maybe this dog came from that. I don't really know. I don't want to be a dick or anything, but uh, whoever played the DS, uh, it doesn't count as being a gamer. Yeah, so. no, no. Yeah. It, you're, you're basically a girl gamer at that point. <laughs> Am I right, guys? You might as well be Am playing, I right? Uh, You're one step crush. off girl reviewer on the internet. <laughs> and guess what else? You're on my hit list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's bringing his. Oh, he's bringing them there. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So is Luigi gonna, like, pretty much steal her? Yeah. Basically. Well, the whole thing is, like,. Luigi's actually fucking loaded right right now, right? Like he got a whole mansion and like vacuumed up a bunch of jewels in the first one. <laughs> yeah. So, so, it, so it's, the plot it's is like that one of those it's one of those situations where the parents are probably still prouder of Mario. They're like, oh, he was he was varsity football and all that kind of stuff. And then Luigi like essentially became a doctor and uh, so is rich the story now. Is that but this this yeah. this is his mansion that he that this was the haunted mansion that he owns because he cleaned it up. In the first one, no, no, I, th I think he's just taking them on vacation with his buku bucks money. I see. Yeah, solid gold, Luigi. You don't need that, but he wants it. He's got an entrepreneur's mindset, Chris. If he sold that mansion. You could feed literally nobody so many needs kids. this fucking much money. <laughs> the kids could just eat the mansion. <laughs> People are literally starving. Luigi's living like a king. Okay. Yo, cut to that scene from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yeah. of the guy's shit mansion melting on top of him. <laughs> yeah, cut to that scene of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where the guy's bathing in the sewer with a mask on. <laughs> What's this guy? What's wrong with him? Hey, you. Just let. Just let go. Just let it happen. Can you pull that little hat off the toes? Is that their brain? Is that like a turtle shell where if you rip that off? I, I think they actually confirmed that that comes off. No. I'm this, pretty sure that, that dude, uh, I think that's Miyamoto of himself was like, that absolutely so that, comes that's, that's off. Like, I think about like, that coming off all the time. That's like cultural garb. It's vulgar. No, but it's it does full of gray <laughs> matter. They, they think with that. I was no. going to say, that's either cultural garb, like a religious thing. Cultural garb. Or or you could pull that off, like, uh, or sorry, or you can't pull it off, and it's part of like a turtle shell, where if you did rip it off, their brain would fall off. I like how Luigi was staring at him the whole time you said that. Yeah, he was, he was just kind of taking it in. <laughs> I was just saying what Luigi was thinking. Dude, I can't was... fucking believe these graphics. Look at this so purple good. man. He's real happy. Not suspicious at all, mind you. Uh, I'm ready to check in, sure. Oh, I said thank you. Oh. Who the hell is that? A f turbo babe. That's Wait, who. this isn't Luigi's mansion, you f liar. She owns it. It's this gonna be his by the end of this Gravely's shit. Mansion. He better not f steal this mansion He's from gonna this f house of cards this mansion out from under They should have called this Hell of the Gravely's Mansion. I think he would have sold better. <laughs> You're telling me this white male is gonna come in and steal this mansion from a woman of color? Really, dude? Beautiful. Is purple of color? Yeah, she's... I she's, guess that's textbook definition of yeah. color. It's the most colorful you POC can be. just means not white. She's not white. She's fucking purple. <laughs> okay. What is she doing, Lyle? It's called makeup. Women eat it, Chris. Isn't he allergic to that? Yeah. 
He's gonna fucking break out in hives. His throat's gonna close up, and that's gonna be the end of the game. That was Chekhov's gun. That's gonna come back. He's gonna yeah. get AIDS or something yeah, later. He's, he's gonna yeah. wake up as a ghost. <laughs> Luigi's gonna be dead at the beginning of the game, and he's gotta find his way back to his now, body. This beautiful purple whore is not uh, shocked at all by the sight of a ghost dog. Yeah, she doesn't c fucking care. Wow. I don't know if anybody else can see that other than Luigi. Because Mario's not. M Mario. Mario would probably kill that thing. I think he'd rip his head off if he could, yeah. Mario's lived a lifetime of, of conflict. I think if he saw something like that, he would probably just murder it on the spot. Oh, she's gonna say. Oh, she's. Oh, wow. Mario and Peach in separate rooms. Trouble in paradise, that huh? That sucks. Yeah. yeah. At least Luigi's getting some action. Yeah, he's gonna fuck that dog. It's like the Ghostbusters see where the ghost sucks his dick and his eyes go crossed. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the most, uh, like, nicely presented Mario game I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, Mario it's Odyssey looked good. good, but this looks amazing. Uh, a fucking emoji scared him. That's not fucking... See, there's Who's another Who's doing one. this to him? He's- he's frightened of emojis. He's- he's frightened that the- the times have passed him by. None of this furniture is usable. I don't want to rest just None yet. None of it's usable. See, wanna... all of his prop- all of this furniture is just props. It's full of dangerous jagged springs. Yeah, it's full of- yeah, everything's like a... <gasps> Have a bath! What?! Yes, I'm gonna eat everything in here. I did not know that there was toilets in Mario. <laughs> I was just gonna say- Wait, you think the... Mario doesn't shit? I've never seen it. Take a shit with me. <laughs> I'm gonna drown you again. Could he use that ghost dog to push his shits down the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seemed like, to have like a physical... <laughs> Into a plunger shape. <laughs> he can interact with it. He doesn't go through it or nothing. Yeah, no. Unless he's just pretending, which would be fucking insane. I Actually. can't get over how good that looks. <laughs> Look, he's he's already nervous about being in this this nice hotel. Oh, this perfect place is very fucking scary. I'm right the fuck here, All right, I'll sleep now. I'll sleep on it. No, oh, sleep with He's my sleepy big. sleepy like two in the afternoon. With my big mysterious box. <laughs> okay, this is quite charming. I gotta say. Yeah, I like it. I like Luigi's little uh, little animations. Better keep my flashlight next to the lamp. You stupid <laughs> asshole. He's sleepy, fully clothed too. He has vivid night terrors where he wakes up and he has a nightmare where his penis is gone, so he needs to <laughs> look at it to make sure it's there. He gets like phantom limb syndrome. Dude, Luigi just tracked his fucking dirty ass shoes all over this nice hotel bed. Yeah, you don't own the place. Housekeeping's problem now. Have you ever worn your shoes in bed like that? Like a psycho? <laughs> when I was a kid, I would, but now that I'm an adult, it makes me feel weird. Oh. Oh, he's having one of those dreams again. Huh? Huh? <laughs> You're my brother's wife! No! <laughs> we can't do it. Oh, look at that little fog! It's getting <sighs> pushed to her- oh! Ah! No, God, it's... the future's crazy. There better not be another <laughs> emoji in here. Okay. It's just the devil. They replaced it with an actual scary one. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Oh my god, that's so cool! Dude, look in the toilet now. There's gonna be a big stiff. The toilet. There's gonna be a big stiffy. Ah! It's got actual fucking nails on it! Wait, go, can you pull back that curtain right there at all? Or interact with that curtain? You can't pull back the curtain of time. Not yet, Zach. I'll Not see. yet. Not this day. Um, other realm, really? This isn't a gold hotel, it's a regular poor person's <laughs> hotel! <laughs> oh, it's true. It looks it's, like shit. It's not a hotel, it's a motel! <laughs> <laughs> he was tricked. Whose skulls are those? Is that Mario, Peach, and Toad? Yeah, they're all gone. Ragdoll in a Mario game. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Handle with care. I think you kick it like that. Yeah. Hey Lyle, one time I said that, uh, an object was ragdolling around, right? Yeah. And then someone in the comments said, You fucking moron, that's rigid body, you dipshit. 
And that stuck with me forever. And were they the right? fact that you got humiliated like that gives me a, a bit of a rigid body, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's actually quite clever wordplay. Thanks. You know, sometimes you really do have your moments. I, I, I sure do, sometimes, I've t been told. Just now, actually. Get that shit out of the way. Wait, is this Mario's room? Yeah, Mario's He's a, a fucking pig! Yeah. I'm glad he got abducted, honestly. This is all Luigi's plan from the start, was to get rid of his freeloading friends. I'm glad someone's torturing Mario right now. <laughs> yeah. I like that Luigi's kind of, uh, associated with scary games now. Yeah. He's just being a big pussy. Yeah. He's kind of like Shaggy. Whoa! Let's see if I can... See if I can eat Peach's bras oh, before she... Oh, look at the she, crows uh, outside! They look so cool! Yeah, they're really not... They're really oh. not a threat to me. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, I, I can eat that. This huh. is all running through that little hey, tiny switch. I'm just, I'm just kidding around, you probably shouldn't look, but just see if Peach took a crap and you can look at it. Like, yeah, probably, yeah, please, we please, got, please, 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 please. These have got to go. Please, I need to please, get please, in there. Please, please, no, I mean, please, I have not. to get in there. You don't understand. I mean, it's probably the not real, but like, that would be crazy if you could interact with her crap. I think maybe once I get the vacuum, I think <laughs> I might could, like, be able to suck up Peach's. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, clearly we're joking. Like, clearly we're joking. Yeah, we're just we're just messing around. But I will come back here though. I clearly we're having a little bit of fun and all that. Oh, Lyle. Ugh. Ew, it's that fucking Mars Attacks alien. <laughs> oh no, it's her. Helen Gravely? <laughs> Wait, you knew her name was Helen Gravely and yeah. you still came here? She Well, she introduced herself <laughs> when you walked in. If you had booked a hotel, and the hotel manager came out and was like, My name is Helen Gravely, nice to meet you, would you just be like, Ah, this isn't gonna work, and leave? Yeah, leave. I'd, I'd go home. I'd be like, you clearly changed your name to that because you're a psycho, I'm leaving. And you also have big hair. <laughs> yeah, her hair is full of some kind of mystery, I don't know. Some yeah, there could be anything in that. Or something. That's that dickhead that I hate! Is that King Boo? Yeah, he financed a whole hotel just to fuck with you. King Boo's in the Mario world, or is this just the one guy? I think it's just the one guy. He's free. Does King Boo f that woman? I th yeah, I, I think he does. I, yeah, I I think it's probably like a Harvey Weinstein sort of situation. <laughs> King Boo is gonna walk into the courtroom with that uh, cane to make people feel sorry for oh, him. Oh, <laughs> he did do that, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, he turned him into the old card oh, trick. That's so. F oh. That's so out there. She's gonna be a star, you know. She's looking at him like with real love in her eyes. You think that's real? Yeah. You don't think that's bot? No. She's an actress. You know that, right? She can fake that. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Don't put me in a picture. Uh. Oh my god, that looks so good. I'm camera shy. F <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at him flopping his little feet around. Uh. Get no. out of there! <laughs> That's fucking scary. Take a shit in there. Did Luigi actually just express? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> is there is there, is Jesus Christ real in this universe? Our Lord and Savior Jesus <laughs> Christ. Are all the religions of? Why of did our you world? say that? I hear that there's um there's an Easter egg in this game where if you go into the cathedral, Luigi will clasp his hands in prayer <laughs> and just just say a full uh, prayer to the Christian God. Do they live in the Alps? Where are they? If vans and buses are real, I think that kind of blows the lid off. This could be Earth. No, yeah, uh, the moon was in Odyssey, so it is Earth. The Mushroom King that are well, you know why Sonic lives on Mobius? Where does Mario live? New York. Yeah, well, no, yeah, you're right. In Mario Odyssey, Mario is, like, pictured next to photorealistic humans. Yeah. In New York City or whatever. It's called New Donk City. That's right. Yeah. It's a really shitty wordplay. But that means uh, that there's at least a sort of one-to-one. -one. There's gotta be a Los Angeles. Yeah. Los Angeles. In Mario, what would Los Angeles be called? Uh, Donk Angeles? I don't that know. That sucks. <laughs> Don what, what, a new yeah. Donk is good? You can't use the same one again. Yeah. You gotta make up a new one. Think of a weird Mario, uh, thing, and then put- throw it into Los Angeles. Well, Donk is from Donkey Kong, I know, right? but Mario was Donkey Kong's best bud. Of- oh. uh, They're towels, you fucking idiot! They're scary, what kind, what kind dude! Of government system, what kind of government operates in this Mario world? Like, is it- 
Who's peach. the president of Mario, though? Peach, 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 peach. Is she peach. the princess of... Is she, the, is she, like, the ruler of the whole United States, though? Is it, like, a monarchy? She's a dictator. I don't know, but she might be, like... You know the Queen of England? How I'm sure she, she's, like, like, a figurehead? Yeah, yeah, she's, like, a mascot. So the United I, States is some bizarre oh. hybrid of, like, a monarchy turned to a, a, a democratic republic? I mean, she, yeah, she's always, she's always <laughs> like... Who the hell? Golfing why why even go up to things at this point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everything just does that. But like, she, she's. I wonder if there's like a whole thing where like, you know, when people get mad at the president for golfing, like every president golfs and they yeah. all get criticized for golfing. Yeah. I, maybe because Peach is always fucking. She's playing tennis. She's riding go karts. She's going on vacation. I bet, yeah, I bet people want to want to kill her because of that. <laughs> I don't want to kill her. People Photoshop her dead on Twitter all the time because of that. <laughs> wow, there's a little parking area. It looks like a real hotel. What the fuck was that? That was a rat. That thing's a piece of shit. Don't touch that. I'm I'm jumping inside. You've got 99 love. It's a ghost-powered engine. I knew it. That dog's asshole is sticking straight up. 99 on to add balloons. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to steal. Oh, yes. Stop stealing. Stop it. Oh, the classic Luigi theme. <laughs> got a scent, boys. Yes, I will start by blinding my own dog. What are you doing? Listen, you Oh my god. <laughs> Animal up. abuse! And you can do that. Was that just Luigi's colossal fart? Yeah. Luigi just fucking brapped. Polter pup. Uh, I'm comfortable with what I learned, yeah. Well, I'm not- I'm not comfortable with it emotionally, but I- I understand it. With your colossal green fart, you mean? Yeah, no, I- I'm not- I don't know, like, <laughs> how to really cope with the fact that that's absolutely what I'm doing. But, uh, other than that, like, I know how to do it. Yo, Lyle, I might want to be careful. Um, I might. I also mightn't. You ever think of that? No. No. I'll think about that. Oh, that rat's dead now. From now on. Dude, wait, you killed it? Yeah, check it out. No! <laughs> A little glitchy there. Are you supposed to be like you what? <laughs> what? You, Why? Are you incinerating rats with lights? <laughs> yes. <laughs> with pure energy. What the fuck? Whoa! That's it, you little fucks. <laughs> yes. Did I've that, now vacuumed like six rats. This that, is a good video game. Did that last mouse bite you? No, I, yeah, it did. It, that one deserved it. The rest what of the them. hell? You're just stealing everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the lid's kind of blown off it. If you went to a hotel and then the guy that you hate more than anything was like, "I made this hotel to fuck with you," wouldn't you just, <laughs> wouldn't you just be like, "Well, that wasn't smart. This is like your money, your property that I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to go around destroying." You're not wrong at all. Yeah, he deserves it. You know what, Lyle? That's you going down to his level if you're gonna steal from him. What? How? You become the bad guy at that point. He put my Lyle, brother in a picture. What happens catchphrase when they go low, we go high? Yeah. Mine? Yeah, that's what you've always said. I think you might be confusing me with somebody else. No, no, I think that was you were saying that about Luigi. It might... It sounds like something I'd say. I don't know. You could be right. I mean, you have that tattooed all across your chest. Yeah, but that was a... That was... That was a typo. What was it supposed to originally say? Uh, it was supposed to say mom. <laughs> mommy, I love you, mommy. Yeah. Mom mamu. Mamu. Ah, uh, yes. The stupid door. I unlocked it by sucking air from it! Dude, that's- that's how fucking electronics work, man. Someone paid like $7,000 for that door. Yeah, <laughs> and I just fucking sucked it a little bit. No, I think I, I shined my light on it. What other- what other funny, uh, video game observations can we make today? Hmm. You know how in Zelda, when you smash a pot, uh, um, in real life, points that would actually be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? This is absurd! Get out of my house! Herb, wait a minute! Herb, wait a minute! You're not, Herb, wait a minute! You're not supposed to be here! <laughs> I like yours a lot. Herm, wait a minute! Herm, wait a minute! <laughs> That's good. Uh, what were the most, uh, basic Pokemon observations in cartoons, do you um, think? they have to go inside the Pokeball? Um, it's so small in there, um, what if they get smushed? Um, 
That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, good, that is, actually. That is, that is pretty good. Um, what if a Pikachu got smooshed up from going inside the ball? Um, <laughs> um why, it's kind of abuse. It, why are you giving it like an old it like I do say, <laughs> darling? <laughs> What the chance of the because Pikachu it's, breaks it's, into the ball? It's, it's, a very, it's a high IQ observation. It absolutely would not <laughs> um, fit wait in there. Wait a minute. Um, Gary is very... Uh, he doesn't like uh, Ash. Okay. I'm kind of awkward. <laughs> he boggles the mind. Why, perchance, would... Would a man let you name his own nephew? Is that a f***ing emerald? What is oh, that? Oh, you also gotta make jokes with the fact that all the people in the Pokemon world look the same, all the women look the same. That's I'm, a joke. I'm gonna leave that there. Even and... though it's a joke in the show. Yeah. Is it? Officer Jenny and her Yeah, it's joy. already a joke in the show, but I've oh. seen a million parodies where that's a joke again. They f scratched out your face? That's so f***ed up. A little preemptive, don't you think, you dickhead? You know, yeah, you killed all my friends. Like, that's like checking off one of the things on your to-do list <laughs> without doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you definitely definitively killed my brother, but me? No, I'm I'm here. Uh oh. Luigi, shut up, or they will see you. No! Don't power drill my dog, you fuck. I actually thought that's where it was going for a second. <laughs> I really like it. This stressed me out. Drill bit lobotomy. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Uh oh. Suck him good, low. Suck him real good. All right. So, pro tip: um, the the trick to this game is it's just ridiculously easy in general. Oh. <laughs> just as long as that guy isn't there, we're fine. Shit. Now, what do you think uh, the reasoning behind them being blue is? Uh, it's probably some kind of deep symbolism that you're just not smart enough for. I'm gonna beat this ghost with yeah, another ghost. There's some ghost. Breaking Bad sort of symbolism there with the color scheme. Yeah. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Nalala, can you pause the game for a sec? No. Please, yeah. please, please. Okay. Uh, give me your best scat improv. Go. <laughs> That's about as good as I can do. This is J. Jonah Jameson scat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's sucking so good. Oh, oh, look at oh, that. Even the fucking uh, windows curtains aren't safe. I'm stealing everything. Oh, now are those, uh, those jack-o'-lanterns uh, or are they plastic? Turn me down again, bitch. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. What is your favorite store, Zach? My favorite store? Yeah. Well, what what store do you actually enjoy going to? I like any place that I can walk around. And there's a lot of different stuff I can buy. Like I like. A lot of... Yeah, I like Home Depot. That's a fun yeah, store. Home, Dep Home, Home Depot is like that for me too. You get to look at lawnmowers and and planks of wood, and what a now everybody phone who's call. Uh, who's 18 years old listening to this, this is the stuff that you enjoy when you get older. Home yeah, Depot. well, when you're fucking 29 years old and 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 you look exactly <laughs> like me, you're gonna fucking love going to Home Depot. Yeah, mark mark our words. You're gonna be looking at new vacuum cleaners on Amazon. You're gonna get you're gonna get a little bit of a stiff in. You're gonna be like, why why is that happening, dude? Like, I used to love going to Radio Shack, and then they ruined it, and now it's gone forever. Anymore. I used to love going in there, but then they started doing that whole like, do you want to sign up for our bullshit thing? And it's oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm that's not gonna. They, that's because they were starting to go down. I think they were trying to like stay afloat as a business. Yeah, they want conscripts, man. If there's ever a war for Radio Shack and you signed up for that, like, <laughs> there's a draft. The Radio Shack draft. <laughs> Pretty sure if you if, if you've even bought batteries for Radio Shack, you are legally required to fight for them. Yeah, that's actually how that goes. Yeah. Okay, this game was cool, but I've noticed that they're just adding rigid bodies to everything, expecting that to be like content, and I'm getting kind of sick of it. This um, is not content. You're actually taking that really personally, that terminology thing, huh? What? Rigid body? <laughs> yeah. No, no, the person was right. <coughs> Get that emerald. Wait. Uh, Can you not suck on... that emerald? Oh, uh, you could grab it. Wait, that's an actual chaos emerald. Mm hmm Okay. Only seven more to go, boys, and then we got his power. He's wow. not even here. Oh, that fucking guy, Mr. Peabody. Yeah, I, I don't know if I necessarily want him out of the painting just yet. Mr. Peabody! Sherman, shut up! Shut up! 
You know, that guy is legally a pinhead. Peabody? No, that character in the painting. He doesn't have a pin in his head. He just has spike hair. Is that like a, like an old school medical diagnosis? Where yeah, he's, it was like he's medically, <laughs> a, he's medically a pinhead, yeah. Pinhead? He's medically a pinhead. If you went to the doctor and the doctor sat you down and said, you're medically a pinhead. He said, I don't know how to tell you this. <sighs> you're a pinhead. <laughs> Close his book. You are a pinhead. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to have to say it, but looks like you're a pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> looks in your general pinhead direction. I guess you're a pinhead now. I'll have to do some further studies, but it looks like you're a pinhead. <laughs> oh, clearly not mine. It's like one of those things where it requires like six different tests. Wow. It requires you, you're in suspense for months, like wondering if you are or aren't a pinhead. Requires some old school fucking head measuring equipment from <laughs> World War Two. Uh, is this the room where all the girls get pretty so that they can have sex with the men? This yeah. is the room that Luigi's gonna put a camera inside of. <laughs> <laughs> a little pin camera. Yeah. That's a great idea. I'm gonna suck up all these little monkeys. gonna suits. watch all the beautiful pinhead women undress. <laughs> yeah. Chris, would, you, beautiful. would you ever kiss a, a pinheaded beauty? Like from the movie, the pinheads? No, no, like oh, a that's the cone heads. Yeah, like, no, 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 yeah, not a Dan Aykroyd cone head, but a beautiful pinhead. Uh. Yeah, why not? It'd be like kissing an alien. What is she? Would you? So you would kiss an alien? Yeah. I would not kiss an alien, dude. If an alien looked beautiful, I'd kiss it. Um, I don't think there's what? any alien that would look beautiful, dude. Have you never seen Star Trek? Yeah, but those are just guys in suits. Well, women but what if suits. an alien looked exactly like that? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what the social repercussions of like kissing one would be. If there was an alien that was literally just the lower half of a woman with like eyeballs on the, the tops of the legs. Wait, a lower half of a- <laughs> you, you say like a vagina? I mean, it's got the beautiful long legs, the vagina, the ass, but nothing above it. Just eyes. With eyeballs? Human eyeballs? Just no. like slug eyes coming out the top. No, no, I couldn't look- I couldn't look at that. I mean, there, there would only be one set of lips to kiss, and I think we can all agree there that that's disgusting. No, no! <laughs> yeah. No! Yuck. Yuck central. I would never do that. Okay, Zach, uh, you're on your spaceship. Yeah, zooming around at 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour blasting through space. Yeah, at 25 you're, miles an hour. You're dodging asteroids. Yeah. Suddenly, a small asteroid flies right into your, uh, your steam engine. Right. And it explodes, and you start my spiraling. My sweet steampunk engine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it spirals out of control. You got it from Dr. Linkara. You crash land on Planet of the Babes. I land on the steampunk planet. Okay, okay, that's better than Planet of the Babes. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what you discover there? Cosplay girls. Cosplaying babes. They're Except all, they're all aliens. They just look like cosplaying babes. Well, you tell me I land on a on a plan a planetoid full of cosplaying steampunk babes. All right, what do I sign? <laughs> Wait, don't don't sign up yet. There's more to this. What happens? Uh, you you step out of your ship. You're you're uh you're taking off your helmet. And they say, "Would you like to meet our king?" And I say, "Your king." King of the babes. <laughs> and what happens, Chris? Who's their king? Uh, they lead you through a rainbow tunnel. Yeah. Across a river of kisses. Yeah. And you-, you Now, do I get kissed in the room of kisses, or <laughs> you just call that? Uh, the, the liquid that you're sailing on is just kissing lips. Okay. And, uh, you, you can lean down and get a few kisses if you want. I would- I'd steal one or two, but not- I wouldn't really agree. <laughs> you wash up on the beach of a thousand, uh, babes. And they're all lined up, ready. But then, who- who comes out of the sand? Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? She, it's the furthest thing from anything. I was she thinking says, of, I king. want to show you something. Wait, no, it's Rosie she pulls out her She pulls out her rotten tooth and hands it to me. <laughs> <laughs> she also looks just like Turk from Tarzan. Uh, and, uh, okay, so you're at the Planet of the Bay. I pull up my babes. steam pump gun and say, you got three seconds before I start blasting. Explain yourself. Okay, uh, yeah. she says, I'm the one who threw the asteroid up from the Earth like the things from Starship Troopers, the bugs. I walk over her and I put my hand near her and I say, she's scared. <laughs> <laughs> she's scared! <laughs> then all the babes start cheering and they come over. <laughs> they start stabbing and her with I, pencils. Yeah, she gets stabbed about a billion times. <laughs> the, she gets incinerated into a fucking, into a cloud of atoms. In about 30 into a red mist. And then you have a thousand babes to fuck. In my steampunk paradise. But wait a second. There's a light switch in the ground. You accidentally step on it trying to fuck the babes. It turns off the simulation. They're all slug women. Uh, I would come even harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just because- I think- I think if that happened, I think it'd already be so horny that it actually- it would make like a- it would, it would 
It would form a new synapse. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's horny. Like, that's like when you're a little kid and you like see Crystal the Fox and you you come the same second. Oh, we know what sets you off and now. If, but you know what I mean? Like that. That's how those fetishes happen when you're like ten. It's synapses get like wires yeah. get crossed. That would happen to me. Also, yeah. you found Mr. Peabody. Oh yeah, he's the pinhead, the medical pinhead. I would love to see this son of a bitch die of old age. <laughs> He's gonna- I mean, his condition is gonna shorten his lifespan significantly. Isn't that enough? That's not enough for me. Oh wait, so that, that- that was actually very kind of you to say. You hope he dies of old age and not, you know, pinhead-itis where his fucking aorta ruptures. I hate I would, his voice so hard. He's like that little thing in that video. You, you saw the video of, of two- two, uh, two lesbians fucked midget, right? Yeah, that is like that guy. He crawls up. Yeah, he crawls up on the bed. He looks like a little alien. That He's is that guy. His hair is standing up just like that. Did you just hit him? <laughs> I, I fucking... Check this out. That's fucking mean. You're magnifying <laughs> the light into his eyes. Through his glasses. I bet that guy's skull did not completely form when it should have. In other words... I bet he's got uh, the brain of a baby, or the skull of a baby, where like his plates aren't fully fused together. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. There's no way his skull. No, he's underdeveloped for sure. But underdeveloped. He he's he's capable of so much. He's accomplished so much despite that. Isn't that worth celebrating? Lyle, if I could curse you at anything, I'd want you to see fifty times the amount of motion blur you currently do. <laughs> Lyle, by the way, this is just to confront you. You gotta stop sending me videos uh, allegedly showing Michelle Obama's penis. I don't, I don't care. I don't believe it. I'm sick of the conspiracies. I'm sick of the crap. Yeah, I'm sick I'm of. Ju I'm just look. I'm not proclaiming anything. I don't I'm care. Just, if it, she's it's stepped mighty, on the curb. I don't it's care. mighty interesting. It's just a little bit interesting. It's just kind of coincidental. I don't, I don't know. believe it anymore. <laughs> Lyle, I'm gonna ask you a really serious question. See that mirror? Yeah. Do you think? That is just another 3D model of Luigi, <laughs> or do you think it's a true reflection in the game world? Do you know the answer to this? Or are you gonna make fun of me if I get it wrong? No. I, I don't know. I think it's an, another 3D model of Luigi. I think there's two Luigis. I think it's gonna jump out of the mirror and grab me. I would assume that too. Oh yeah. my god. Turn off your alarm. That's actually what I think when I see a mirror in real life too. I just- I assume that the other one is gonna grab me one day. It hasn't yet because it's lulling me into a fu- I'm gonna kill that rat! Or, or I'm gonna fucking kill that rat! <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's trying to lull me into a false sense of security. And it's working. That's the saddest thing. Okay, wait, Lyle, you go to the pet store. Mm-hmm. Uh, you walk in, your big floppy clown feet pounding off the floor, yeah. causing nearby earthquakes. Your big elephant ears are floppy around too. <laughs> yeah. You walk up to the counter. You blow water out of your out of your elephant trunk. Yeah. The guy blushes. The guy blushes. He says, "Sir, I I couldn't help but notice you seem like you want a new pet." Right. And he says, "Can I interest you in this beautiful southwestern ratigans?" A, a what? It's like a little rat, but he's got like little floppy feet and big ears just like you. And he's, it, he's so got, he's got your eyes as well. It's a <laughs> grim reflection of the self, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it fucking manifests itself as whatever owner it owns. So it look- it looks like me with the floppy ears and everything it's because- It's got your eyeballs. Yeah, and my eyeballs. It's yeah. got your eyeballs, your, uh... Your, and he your, says, and the guy says, this is the coolest trick of the wall, and he holds it up to your ear, and he goes, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it whispers in your ear. You can't understand it, but it's cool that it's doing this. Yeah. Lyle, do you buy it? D is it... Do I... F after it whispers in my ear, do I feel suggested towards certain actions, or is am I just normal? You feel, you feel like a very, very brief spike in panic. Oh. In fear, but that's it. It goes... it subsides very quickly. I mean... Are, are they easy to take care of? Are they a lot of work? Uh... It's like a normal rat. It also, but oh. it needs, you need to massage its heart for four hours a day <laughs> to keep it alive. With little, uh, earbuds. Little, yeah. Little, little, uh, cotton, you know, those things that clean out your ears, what are those yeah. called? Uh, cotton, cotton. Q-tips? Q-tips. Q-tips, yeah. You gotta massage this little heart. I mean, I, I, I presumably gotta do this because I have to do that for myself anyway, you so have to, You have to replace its pacemaker four times a day also. <laughs> four times a day? Okay, Lyle, you bring it home, you put it on your, uh, mantle. In its nice little cage. It falls off and has a heart attack. <laughs> no, 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 rewind, rewind. He's, he's back to normal. Lyle, Lyle, you, you, you go to bed, you start dreaming about the rat because you're so excited for, for your future with it. You wake up the next day, you go into the rat. What is the rat doing, Lyle? He's sitting at his little desk, looking at... 
I, I, I would I would get up to my webcam and go, FBI guy, you gotta listen to me. It wasn't me. It was the rat. It was the rat. I take it back to the pet store, and the pet store is just empty. And There's out nothing. of the FBI guy's pocket co comes his own Columbia rat again, and he says, The pet store is missing, like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, when yeah. Charlie's dad moves up yeah. the hill in his house. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lyle, uh, sorry that story took such a dark turn. Yeah, that, that was that's fucked, man. You went to jail and you committed suicide with a piece of tissue. That radigan <laughs> had four of its vertebrae broken from a apparent hanging. Good, it f deserves it. But but we it don't know. It set me up. That radigan was put on suicide watch and nobody checked on it for twelve hours. <laughs> Wait, isn't radigan the bad guy from? <laughs> I don't even know if radigan's a real word. Ra I think radigan's the bad guy from the Great Mouse Detective. I've never seen. <laughs> I've never seen. The Radigan movie, I don't know. <laughs> the Radigan movie. <laughs> His shoes look photorealistic. What's this, Nalayu? It's a little green friend just for me. Ooh! <laughs> just touch Luigi's belly. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? That is not- that can't happen. That's stupid. That's just stupid. <laughs> Chris, how come your house isn't shaped like your face like everyone else's? Um, been meaning to confront you on like this Donkey for a while. Like Donkey Kong Island, too, for Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, or like our houses. Zach's is shaped like his face, yep. mine's shaped like my face. Yep. We come over to your house, and what is it? Just a regular-ass house? I've, I've been filing complaints to the city about this for months, and no one's done anything about it. Well, maybe if you fucking care to ask before you do all that, you would have learned that I had, uh, work done on my face many years ago. To look like a house. <laughs> 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 yeah, that works better than what I was thinking. <laughs> I was gonna say that I, I lost my face as a child. <laughs> to what? Uh, there's a thing in Ireland called the Rot. The Rot? <laughs> yeah. It's like a it's like a never-ending story villain. Where it's just like it's, you know, it's a mist that flies by and rots your face. <laughs> <laughs> if you go up past six o'clock, the mist goes by and rots your face. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Your dad runs in and he goes, Close the windows! The rod! The, the rod! Chris, the rod! And we have to, like, you know that shit that you, like, spray into the corners of windows? You, no. have, to, you have to close up all the small gaps with oh, this yeah, yeah, black yeah, yeah. rubber. Yeah, you have to put, uh, caulk, caulk it. Yeah, so the rot doesn't get in. It's really, it's really crazy, like, how, how stuck in the dark ages Ireland still is. <laughs> yeah, the rod, the rats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the slippering slopes of the hills. Yeah. You guys will get roads one day. We don't really need them yet, because everyone just slides around in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> everyone just yeah, slides on their <laughs> shoes like wheelies. They're still using mud sleds. No, it's like penguins. You lie on your tummy and you slide down <laughs> muddy hills. You go 100 miles an hour. <laughs> There's fucking, like, mud canyons that you just rocket through. People die constantly. <laughs> like, slamming the buildings because they can't slow the momentum down. People get, like... Cyberpunk spoilers attached to their asses <laughs> to go real fast, but they're made out of sticks. I feel like more people would die than would be born in that in that country. <laughs> <laughs> Ireland's a magical place. There's got to be a place in the world where you like penguin around on your belly. As a human being. Yeah. All right, you're right. It's Alaska. <laughs> You know, they pay you 60,000 trillion dollars a year just to live in Alaska because it's so shit. Yeah, and people are still out there, like, hanging themselves and buying hang-yourself lamps. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's true, actually. Luigi, your eyes are so fucking beautiful. I hear that in Alaska, sometimes they get snowed in, so for fun they just pull out their own teeth. <laughs> yeah, they eat them back up, they chew them back up. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, lost a tooth and then... Well, I mean, I mean, when you're younger, when your teeth are falling out, but you're like chewing, and then suddenly you're you're chewing Falls on your off. tooth. Yeah, I ate a sandwich when I was a little boy, and my tooth was in my sandwich. It was horrible. My mom used to feed me teeth sandwiches all the time. Well, it makes your bones grow stronger. Yeah. Teeth, the the, the bones of others. Why the fuck did humans evolve with teeth? They're so stupid. We evolve with teeth, with hair. Everything we have is, doesn't make any sense. Teeth is like the worst thing in a human. Well, it's literally exposed bone that that rots and like gets ground it down. It breaks from, away and from, only grows twice for some reason. Yeah, and also from, from doing its job too. If you just like there were cavemen that we found with with tooth decay just from eating what they were eating back then. So it's not even like we evolved to a specialized diet. We could have had big f crushing bones like chameleons, but no crushing bones. I, yeah, they've got bones in their mouth. They crush down on food. Isn't that just what teeth are? No, I mean like it's one big bone. 
So it's just like a jawbone, basically? Yeah. But, uh, that's creepy. I mean, I've always maintained that, like, toes are kind of useless. Toe nails, fingernails, too Wait, stupid. Wait, is this a virtual boy? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, he just wanted me to fucking call him on my- on my virtual boy. That's so cool. He just got lonely. I think it's called a virtual boo, too. <laughs> Makes me kind of angry that he called it that, honestly. Yeah, that E-Gag guy is a fucking asshole. Luigi doesn't like him either. He thinks he's an asshole, but he keeps, you know... How does this guy keep appearing in his life? Uh, he, he's like basically his boss. Really? Yeah, I think he, I think he like, owns Luigi somehow. So he has dirt on Luigi. He yeah. like, he gave Luigi a, a fuck toy, he, and he recorded he, him, yeah. and now Lu he, he owns Luigi. <laughs> he helped Luigi clean up a bit of a mess earlier oh. in life, and now, now he owes him big. Luigi hit a jog at like 45 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not, I did not do it. I didn't really see him, he didn't have, he had dark clothes on. I don't know the throw. I didn't know, man, I fucking oh, hit him, man, I didn't see him coming, man. Oh, 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 oh. Smabadoo! Luigi's got some decent upper body strength and nobody really talks about it. He's got like, uh, this, the body of Caesar from Planet of the Apes. That would be cool if Luigi took his clothes off, his overalls off, but he had like a, the, the body of a chimp. He had like perfect chip anatomy, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Like he takes off his shoe. That's why and he wears like gloves. Fully formed human hand. That's why he that's why he covers his whole body up. <laughs> yeah. Yo, can I just say I can't believe that th those movies even exist. Planet I'm of glad. The Apes. No, the new ones, like the, the ones with the crazy CG. I'm glad they all do. Dude, I love those movies. Me too. Like they're not very good story-wise, but just looking at them is amazing. I really do love them. They're all great. The soundtracks are great. I think the soundtrack in the first one kind of sucks, but the other two are pretty good. The first one gets ragged on. I feel like it's still really good. Like, I, I really enjoy what I saw. I like saw. them all. But two and three are- I think two is the best one, I think. Yeah, I, I haven't I seen three, so but I like two. They're so fucking good. Like, dude, if if you watch three, I swear to God, I've never seen more realistic CG yeah. in my- Like, it's- it's just fucking real. It looks real yeah. for the whole movie. There's a lot of great scenes. I love three. Three's great as well. But, uh, the first time I- <laughs> Remember when Draco Malfoy says, Get your damn hands off me, you damn dirty man! <laughs> and then the camera just goes like, <laughs> and he goes, no! and you're like, ah, he's fucking talking! <laughs> so fucking cool. Yeah, they're all three great. And I like that if they ended it on three. I wonder if they're gonna do any more. Well, I think they just lead into the old movies now. From there. I hope you're right. But the way they tell the 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 lead up to those movies is actually different to what the original movie's story was. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Aw, oh, they're so fucking cool. I just can't believe there's, a, like, a two-hour movie with only CG shots for the whole thing of, like, hundreds of photorealistic apes that- and that exists. They look- they, they, they look real, man. The third- yeah. the third one looks- the second one looks really good, but the third one looks the third amazing. One, well, you gotta see the third one. Alright. Sometimes there's things like that where it's like, they'll make a prequel or something, like, 30 years later. So, if you did watch the new Planet of the Apes and then went back it to the would, old movie, it would be such like a Star weird yeah. shift in tone. The first Planet of the Apes from, from the, you know, the really old ones, the first yeah. one still is fucking awesome. Yeah, the first one's amazing. Yeah. I've, I, there was a point, like, a couple years ago where I binged all of them. Some of those sequels have, like, interesting ideas. But they're just there's not like as a, good. There's, like, a cobalt nuclear bomb. There's, like, some interesting ideas. I, it, they're just not as strong, But I the think. first one just, like, holds up so yeah, good. Yeah, it's a great film. It's amazing. But, uh, yeah, Lyle, you need to watch. Lyle. I will. I like, I, I like monkey movie. Love I Peach's room. Find her <laughs> shit! Find her turns. I don't think this is Peach's room. Oh. I think this is somebody else's, because I, I don't... But, I mean, I could still see... I could still see if I could eat their shit, yeah, if you want. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Get a power for me to the turds. Wasn't there a celebrity a long time ago where somebody like sold their shit? Do you remember that or was that <laughs> like was I that an urban legend? I don't remember that. I, I could have sworn it was like mid two thousands, so it it would have been like Britney Spears' shit or like something like she that. She wouldn't do that. There was there was somebody where I could have sworn like they somebody found like some celebrity shit and they like sold it on eBay. How yeah. much? Who, she, who's oh, who's like who who's shit? You think is the most valuable on the planet right now? That would uh, sell for the most. Probably Trump. I think so. I bet Trump shit would sell for like fifty million dollars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they probably could have been doing it legally because he have his DNA, and I bet other countries would buy it. Like China would buy his shit they or something. Trump. <laughs> who knows, dude? I, who the fuck knows what you could do with somebody's uh, dude and feces? I uh, mean, I'm sure some people have their theories. I really, I really do wonder sometimes, like, what underground science experiments are going on that nobody knows about. That's what I'm saying, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet your your dude and feces could go a lot further than you think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what, like with a potato gun or something? No, I'm, no, I'm just... <laughs> like yeah, pressurized? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could shoot it across the room. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I bet, yeah, you could probably do... I mean, I know I bet that... it would shock you. You're like, wait, you can... I bet, you, I bet I could get into a Wells Fargo account with your feces. <laughs> I can't something. wait for, like, actual, like, mini-me's in the future. <laughs> Even well, like I mean, they, they can already grow meat. I think that lab-grown meat is actually taken from DNA that they do get from, like, the shit or something. Not from the poopy, but from something else, maybe. It's something, it's something weird. Would you buy a lab-grown mini-me, Lyle? Of, of myself? Yeah, of yeah. yourself. Not after the f scenario you hit me with earlier. You got me all paranoid about it. What? Just, you know. The, oh. the whole Radigan situation. <laughs> the oh, just just like, what if it did something fucked up you didn't think you had it in you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was scary if you cloned yourself, but it was a small version of you, and then it, like, did some horrible, you know... Like, un unforgivable thing? Yeah. Un unethical, evil... It's... Because it, you never you never really know, right? You never know... Like, you think you know what you're like, but you don't know what you'd be, like, small. That's a really good setup for a Black Mirror. That would suck. Okay, so the, in the future, there's a high society of elites. Everyone has a, a smaller clone of themselves that they they bring around like a little slave on a leash, right? But but the the people will be like, go get me my dinner, and then the thing knows exactly what you like to eat. But then would, I, I would not trust the little version of me to make dinner, dude. Poison me. But what one of the <laughs> one of the little clones goes awol, starts like <laughs> f kids. Clone got awol. That's the movie, <laughs> it's the movie title. But then but then your little elite society would be like, oh, his his clone is a, a little bastard. He's got awol. That they would like excommunicate you and then you'd, you'd be banished. Even yeah. though it's not even you, it's yeah. just that he looks exactly like you. And you'd be like, but I really, really don't do that kind but of I thing. But I promise I really, really <laughs> don't. I really, really don't <laughs> I do that. really, really don't do that. <laughs> Prince Andrew, <laughs> I really don't do the that. Funny thing, the funny thing is, I think that's totally messed up. I mean, it's totally not okay. <laughs> mummy, mummy, my clone is being rambunctious. Mummy, my clone told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> clone <laughs> gave me legal counsel, mummy. I didn't know no better. This is okay, my love. Oh, I love you, little Prince Andrew. You'll always, you'll always be my little Andrew. <laughs> oh, this There's is the queen right there. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger's... That's Arnold Schwarzenegger's maid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caught in the axe. What the what fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> this is so true, you cannot trust these fucking bitches. <laughs> what? What?! You can't do that, it's fucking yeah, bullshit. come on, man. They, they knew that was bullshit. <laughs> they just did it anyway. They were like, we can't just have her fly through the wall, she's gonna have to struggle. What are you gonna do with all those big greens, dude? Oh man, you don't even want to know. Okay. <laughs> now nah, Lu Luigi's saving up. Oh, what, what are they hiding under the mattress? Oh, someone doesn't trust banks. <gasps> let me in, let me in, let me in. Dude, I do you to smush what's underneath there. Oh, Whoa. a miscellaneous vial of slime. What is that? Urine. I don't know, it's kind of funny. What can you do with that? Can you just shoot that anywhere? I want to drink the urine. Oh, oh wow. That was a money potion. It manifested itself. <laughs> I love the little wrinkles in the carpet and stuff. Yeah. I put a lot of effort in. Speaking of wrinkles, do you want to talk about a wrinkle in time? Have you talked about that on this show? Not really, but it... I may, maybe. I think we've talked about Oprah's big fat head being rubbed along by a child before. Wait, yeah, that what? was very weird. Yeah, <laughs> in the movie A Wrinkle in Time, uh, Oprah is just a giant woman who I don't think she's actually physically in like any of the movie. I think they just green screen so her in I, there. The only thing I know about A Wrinkle in Time is Oprah did, wasn't there for any of it. She just green screened yeah, all of it. Yeah, she like shot it from her bathroom or something. <laughs> yeah, and she's just a huge Oprah. And there's there's one point where like they uh, they're the, on like this big leaf woman and the they lettuce. fly around her head. Yeah, and then. Uh, the little kid touches Oprah's face and she's like, mm. Yeah, she goes, Prrr. and then the kid's rubbing his hand along her big fat head, going, mm. Who is that movie for? Oh, it's 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 maybe one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. We, we tried watching it here, but everyone was getting mad at me for putting it on. Was it supposed we to? We weren't getting mad. We were just. <laughs> we, we were, were mad. It was, it was exhausting. It was like. <laughs> I was like, gotta watch this shit. We we got maybe halfway in and then just decided to skim the rest of it because it was so fucking bad. They made it too like shitty, whimsical. Everyone's like always in awe, stupid bullshit. Oh, like, I hate, I hate that. I know. Yeah, there's there's the like a lot of kids entertainment is just shit happening and everyone going, <gasps> oh, like wow. 
wow, yeah. this is amazing. But it's wow. really wow, and it's like it's not funny, it's not cool, <laughs> it's just like it happened. Yeah, and there's stupid dumb bitches like called Mrs. Watson and and all that crap. This is all that crap. Holy oh, fuck. Oh, you fucking better not, you little piece of dick. Let's get the fucking god that fucking shit out of me. They what they deal with that. Why is there a green filter, Lyle? Uh, I don't know. It's the color of ghost. Mm. Ugh, oh, delicious jewel. I got the fucking jewel. Just pockets it in his ass. <laughs> ah, give me that, give me this. Shut up, Luigi. Shut the fuck up. There's a lot of video games where that's like shorthand, where they just like put things in their back pocket, and it I, I, it sounds like repeating jokes, but every time it almost looks like they put it in their ass. <laughs> it's true. Like <laughs> that, that's gotta stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna just draw a line in the sand right now and say, video game developers, this is your last chance. We're gonna keep saying it if you keep doing it. You know what you're doing. You can't claim in ignorance at this point. There's just some things you can't really beat for how, you know, fast they are. What, like, like, like coding, like someone putting a thing away. It's, it's a lot easier to just shrink it down and have them put put it in their fake asshole. <laughs> their their plastic surgery hundred thousand dollar asshole. Yeah. Or you could have like a big animated backpack on their back and have them like carefully put it in, but it's not really worth the effort, is it? Um. Maybe not if you don't care. If you actually <laughs> care about the end product, you would have a giant backpack on your character's back. That physically wraps around every single object you put into it. Yeah, I, I want to see realistic formatting shapes every time my character puts something in their back. But I don't want it to be, like, annoying. I want them to still be able to carry exactly as much as they do in, like, Skyrim or whatever. Yeah, you're, you know what? You're right. I want everything in one grocery bag and I don't want it to be heavy. That's what I, that's what I want. <laughs> a shopping bag. <laughs> Got him. Uh -oh. Yes, human hearts I don't feed think you, Luigi. Have you been hit once so far? I have. Okay. I think. I think that rat bit me. I think that's the one time I've been hit. <laughs> you got killed by the smallest thing. Listen, this is an easy game for babies, but it's it's fun. Look mm. at it. Look at him go. Oh no, the golden rat. Zach, this is literally what you just saw. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Toilet paper flying around. And a golden rat. Why is there a golden rat? Dude? Symbolism, don't, don't worry about it. Can you kill that thing? I want to see that golden mouse go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude, you're gonna die in here. Oh, this dude, is fucking yeah. scary. Those are all... Those are Black Widows. If Luigi's get, actually in the shit right now. If you get bit by a Black Widow, how long do you have to get to the hospital before serious damage Five happens? Seconds. Oh. I know Brown Recluse is like the big one that actually fucks you up, but... Yeah, America's a real shithole if you think about it. Well, my niece got bit. By, uh, my my niece got done bit by a copperhead and died because of that. Wait, really? Yeah, she, you my, had a niece that died. She, my my niece done got bit by a copperhead. You're fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have believed it. You told me other weird stories that were true. My niece done got bit by a copperhead. <laughs> shut up. When I was like 12 years old, I went to a swimming club like every morning, or not every morning, every few mornings I'd have to go to a swimming club at like a really early hour. And uh, one time I had a pain in my tum tum. I think and you just <laughs> walk through that. And I, I got into my wow. swimming gear and uh, walked into the bathroom to oh take no. a pee before I got in the pool. But, but the second I tried peeing, I shit myself. Oh no. And then I had to walk past a bunch of like dudes while I was like trying to hide my shit in my. <laughs> My little speedo. Hands. No, I was I was walking like Luigi was, just walking past like a, a changing room of like mean assholes. Were they laughing at you? They, they didn't see. One guy was like, "Why are you walking like that?" I just walked by him. What did they say um, to imagine a kid? Imagine being in a, lo a locker room, like inspecting the way that children walk, to just be like, <laughs> "I was gonna say that guy. Mm. That guy's in the wrong there, man." Yeah, even if he noticed, it'd be like, "What? Why do you have your ear to the ground for this kind of shit, you fucking psycho?" <laughs> oh, there's, okay. Ooh. Here's here's some resistance. Just don't worry. I'm gonna beat this ghost with another ghost, and we'll be back on track. Fucking get out of here, you! Have you guys seen the video of the? The guy in the military being held down by another guy in the military, and the guy's grabbing his dick. No. And he's saying, "Let go of my dick! Let go of my dick, bro!" Oh, it's like the fucking meanest shit I ever saw no. in my life. And he won't let go. He just he keeps squeezing the guy's dick, and he's just like, what the "Please!" Are you saying like he locked up like a pit bull's jaw? <laughs> Not, like I don't know. I, all I know is whoever did that is such a fucking. Yeah, that's that's. 
pretty it's, bad. That's a dick move, as they say. You should squeeze your friend's dick out of anger. <laughs> your friend. That's where I stand. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's right, Stan. That should be a uh, like. I don't think Mr. Rogers ever thought about that. Don't no, ever rip your friend's penis off. <laughs> Genital torture is not okay. Don't do that. There is a dude there. He's like eating toothpaste. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what they eat. That's their. That's their nutrients. So if we just cut off their food supply, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> You're locked in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there she is! There she is! She's f pregnant with the box! Suck it out of you her. You moron. You didn't expect me to f pull it out of your tummy like your belly button. That is an abortion visual. That really is very abortion. Here uh, comes like. Dr. Scrapes! <laughs> oh, you bitch. You got it. Oh, Use I'm your gonna... rainbow thing. Use my rainbow rotor? Yeah, that. What it's a that rail rotor. It, Look, it showed, it showed like a little crime scene outline of her. <laughs> so now she's in the next room. Yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna get to her. I'm gonna beat her up. <laughs> <laughs> All of your progress to that point is set. Shut up. Mama mia, that guy fucking a girl. Go in there. Uh, 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 Here, Lyle, here's a little artsy thing for you. Have you noticed that not a single thing has a straight edge in this fucking world? Um, Luigi's pretty straight edge. He doesn't drink or do drugs, because he's above that. What, I'm, what I meant was, everything is, like, skewed. It looks cooler than if not. Yeah, that- I actually didn't notice that, but now I noticed. It looks way more fun. Now I can't unnotice it. And it even helps with the sort of twisted, uh... The twisted, like demented actually, nature. The twisted, forking, demented, fucking nature. Forking nature of Luigi himself. <laughs> Holds up fork, digs into my own ass, smiles. <laughs> Grabs fork out of hand, throws that window, cut that shit out. <laughs> this is a good roleplay, keep it going. Runs out window, grabs fork on the side of the road, gets hit by a car. <laughs> Watches you fly up in the air, get cut up into a million pieces by uh, helicopter propellers. Gets out of car, picks up fork, it's falls mine now. <laughs> falls down into 200,000 cubes on the earth, rains down. <laughs> 50,000 rats run in, start scattering the cubes throughout the world. Gets eaten in two seconds by the rats. <laughs> <laughs> a million hawks fly down. Did, Car I, did I ever rats. tell you my idea for the cartoon about the, the, the mom bringing home the food for the kids for the birthday party? No. Like, it's a bunch of kids at a birthday party, like 10 kids are at a dinner table. Yeah. And they're all, like, really hungry, waiting for the mom to come home, and the mom pulls up in an SUV. She, like, walks in with the... With a monkey, and she throws it on the table, and they all start ripping it apart like it's a pizza. <laughs> and it's like, ah! and they're like, like oh, wait, what are they? And they start pulling the fingers off and like taking bites out of it, like pull its eye off. <laughs> uh, I don't think some kid, some kid rips the head off and sticks it on the stick and starts like licking it, but his head dissolves like like it's at like the tongue. Zach, I'm gonna be real with you here. Yeah, I would laugh at it, but I, I don't do. think you know? ninety percent of people would. <laughs> 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 I think 90% of people would just like that. You don't think children would like- you don't think people would watch- watch 15 children, like, eat a, eat a monkey in 10 seconds? It would literally be like 30 seconds long. They would disavow really quickly. Look, all I'm saying is, I would like it. They take a turn, and they go, click, and they pull it up. <laughs> they eat it like spaghetti in two seconds. They start <laughs> dipping it in sauce. I'm not changing my stance on the matter. <laughs> Uh, you yeah, but wouldn't. you didn't know that they dipped it in sauce, though. <laughs> the ranch. It's the Iron Giant. Oh, by the way, uh, I've been getting, uh, little pizzas lately, right? And I never- I'm, I'm obviously late to the party, because I never knew that dipping pizza in ranch tasted so damn good. Yeah, I- I mean, I don't eat pizza that much, but what I do- Look, if you're gonna dip it in anything, pizza and ranch is dead. It's fucking beautiful. It's, uh, it's- it's a heart attack combination, but it's- boy, is it great. Yeah, you'll get big fat titties like your Uncle Chris, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you get pizza and it was like, whoa, pizza. Here's the fucked up thing. I hated pizza as a kid. Oh, whoa. Really? I thought it was gross. What made you like it? Um, when I started living with my friend Sean, he started getting Domino's with pepperoni and jalapenos. And I had a slice one time, I was just like, this is fucking amazing. Because uh -huh. the jalapenos were on it. Whoa. But but now I can't eat that anymore, because if I have jalapenos, oh, shit. I will actually... It'll ruin my day, how bad the shit is. Really? It, like, it'll actually, like, waste uh, probably an hour or two of me just sitting there. <laughs> and, like, having horrible diarrhea. When, when you- I think what, once you get past 25, your shit start getting worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> I- I may be a little bit early to the party on this, I've never liked shitting. Oh. 
I'm, I'm just gonna go on record to say I if I if I could vomit up every meal instead of shit, I would just I really, cauterize my asshole. I really my wish asshole. I could put, I could I put little <laughs> androids inside my tummy that would like zap the shit away and transport it somewhere yeah. else. I hate shitting. If I ever get super insanely like business rich, please dig up this uh, conversation right now so I people can hear me say that I love taking big stiff shits. Yeah, me too. <laughs> business rich. <laughs> if I ever get to the like. Like millionaire status. Are, are you saying you you want to be humbled by this? You you want to remember yeah. where you came from? Yeah, yeah this will <laughs> drag me back down to earth. What a asshole! Remember he, your roots. He, yeah. <laughs> speaking speaking of roots, Luigi's in a cage right now. That's, He's sucking was, caviar was, off my fingers. One, right? no, no. <laughs> I used to love taking big stiff shits. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> Oh, egad! Like, like that's a wordplay. Like, e like, oh my f god! Like, yeah, that. like holy shit! Yeah, it's like Professor Holy shit! Wait, you I'm know gonna what take I mean? a piss again because I had a bunch of Red Bull. Oh, okay. wait, wait, Zach, wait! You need to see this. Zach. This, better be, this better be good. Here we go. <laughs> Did you just did you just shit out Luigi number two? No, no, it gets better. Oh fuck off! Oh. <laughs> Zach, Luke Greeny shall live for a thousand years. Zach actually just stormed out of the room. He's boycotting the game. They knew exactly what they were doing there. Yeah, they sure did. It looks exactly like he's taking a big green. Sh Lou Greeny has Luigi's brain and soul in his body right now. He's gone. He's gone amok. He's gone awry with it. Dude, they should have put so much dynamic bones on him, make him look all goofy. Well, he um, like he wiggles around. And oh, that yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's like, pretty and, cool. Uh, see, see, he like bounces. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you can actually play two player on this game, and a second player can control him, only from this point on. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, now now uh, Lugrini is loose in the building. Yeah, I love his little you wet footsteps. Out of the world, dude. This game is just so cool. Yeah, I thought you might like it. I'm sorry I didn't listen till now. Yes. God, I hate that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love, but I hate it. Lugui is it Luigi or Lugrini or Lu Lu Lugugi? It's uh, it's Guigi is what oh, he's actually called. None of those were right. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I I don't know. I call him Lugrini. I, I made a joke on uh, on pregame discharge about him c being called Lugrini, and I was like, <laughs> "That was that was a lie. I've lied to you." And then they like uh, officially announced his name, and it was Guigi, and I wasn't really that far off. Yours is better. Yeah, I agree. I agree with myself. Guigi, when you think it. Yeah, he's he's like, I never meant to put you in a cage. Please don't smash my little head like a pimple. You know what they should have called him? This guy? No, or, Guigi. What, what should they have called him? Uh, Green Mario. I think that's already Luigi's name, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, like, legally changed it. He got oh. emancipated, legally changed his name. So that would make Guigi Green Green Mario. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Double green. <laughs> they, they call him G2. I want to rip his hair. I want to rip it right off his head. Do you think if you pulled up on his hair, like his brain would be connected to it? Like a radish or something? Yes, <laughs> like a turnip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. I mean, that definitely looks like it's at very least like a doll's hair. Like it's hitched into something like underneath his scalp, not really connected to his scalp. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I think was a huge wasted opportunity? What do you think? You know troll dolls? Yeah. You know when DreamWorks made that Trolls movie? Right. They really missed out not using the original designs and just making it into a hor horrifying <laughs> nightmare movie. Yeah, like a weird self-aware, like... Yeah, they should have done that, because it's based on the same property, right? Yeah. It's based on that, right? Yeah. I hate the... I mean, like, the new movie looks nice for kids. Like, kids are obviously gonna enjoy it, but I just wish it was a scary nightmare movie with the original trolls. That'd make me so happy. <laughs> I really can't even believe that the original troll designs got through, even in, the, what, the 80s, 90s? They were crazy popular. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I can't believe that they're that popular for how fucking ugly they were. I think weird things that, that just stand out get popular sometimes. Do, do you remember are Cabbage Patch Kids yeah. still a thing? They no, I don't not think, I think really. They're too, I think they're too ugly. Kids, yeah, those those were fucking disgusting. Kids don't like ugly stuff anymore. I don't think. And in fairness, I didn't like ugly stuff really that much when I was a kid. Well, I mean, the Cabbage Patch were they supposed to be ugly? Because I, I I know everybody unanimously thought they were, but I think that they were supposed to be cute. Which might be why they're not around anymore. It is kind of weird where if you find a Cabbage Patch Kid in real life with the same proportions, you, you would just be off. like, this yeah. is a monster. This yeah, is a Quasimodo monster. You put it down, you would inject it with a black goo inside its veins. It's a, it's a, can you do that? If, if your baby comes out ugly enough, can you inject it with black goo? Yeah, I think the Supreme Court just said you could do that a couple weeks ago. What okay. does Frollo say again? He says... 
It's an unholy demon. I'm sending it back to hell. He tries to drop you out of the well. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> See if all the innocent blood you have spent. <laughs> That's what he says. No because I am guiltless she rad I pursue. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Frollo. That's what Harvey Weinstein's defense was. <laughs> <laughs> in court. You can lie to yourself and your minions. That's what the judge said. <laughs> <laughs> to Harvey Weinstein. You can claim that you haven't a qualm. <laughs> but you never can run from nor hide what you've done from the eyes. The eyes of what? The eyes of, um, the American judicial system. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> And for the first time in his life of power and control, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein felt a twinge of fear for his, uh, his colossal soul. He tried to hide his key in his ass, and he had to go real bad. That's the bad. first thing Harvey Weinstein did is hide his golden key. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein's been like showing up in like court with like a cane, trying to that's look what, like he's falling saying. apart. But yeah, he. W I saw him literally today. Uh, on the TV at the, the beautiful little gym, he was uh, w walking with one of those walkers with the tennis <laughs> balls. <laughs> He's such a bastard. I know. Check this out. Woo! <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Lugrini will live for a thousand years. Oh, God. What's the logic on this? How is that slime sucking something? Uh, oh my God, that's amazing! <laughs> He's gone. This game is fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> I fuck it. Th that I've watched that video so goddamn much. Me too. That one in, in specific with the Alex the Lion. Alex the Lion. What are you doing? What yeah. the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shoot us, you it's okay. That's illegal. Look the same guy who was like, I had a dream a flotter was shocking my dick. The most wonderful dream I had was when a float seal sucked my dick. That was just wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it... she the bad guy from Madagascar? <laughs> Is that guy fucking around? Is he doing no, a bit? No, he's real, no, dude. He's, he's, he's as you real as... You know funny? No. He's as serious as I a heart attack. I had a dream of lunch. He sounds like gold member. <laughs> he does sound like gold member. Fuck off. Oh, made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> I love gold. People say that's the shittest movie. It's my favorite. <laughs> that was the uh, that was the first Austin Powers I ever saw. Was gold member. It makes me XD lol, especially when they're in prison singing that. It's a hard knock life. Some song. of it does age, work not great. Like the beginning has the Britney Spears. That part. shit's funny. That's uh, Austin Powers is one of those movies that I used to think was so funny as a kid that I just wouldn't want to rewatch. Just because. Austin Powers one and two, I don't really enjoy that much anymore. I rewatched the third one. It's not that bad. There are some funny stuff. It's definitely the most kind of reference. One, mm. you can you can see the transition a little bit between that and like the Love Guru. Yeah, but it, like Austin Powers Three is still I think a funny movie. There's still enough good stuff in there. I haven't seen the Love Guru since it came out, but I remember liking it a lot when I first saw it. <laughs> I think I had the same experience. I think I saw it when it came out. Yeah, made me fucking lol. Yeah, the only thing I remember is the nine to five at the very. Big Nine to five. It's yeah, just no. Dolly th th there's a scene where his his head, old, his head is photoshopped on a little kid, and it made me laugh out. so hard. <laughs> Looks terrible. It is sad that that movie kind of like ended his career because he, he was he did a lot of great stuff. I mean, he did Wayne's World. He did. Austin I don't Powers. buy that. I, like I don't like when people always say like I think he just fucking stopped at that point. He could have done anything he wanted. He's so rich. I think he could have kept going. I just think I think the, the response that we bummed about so he stopped. Maybe yeah. is the vibe that I got at least. Yeah. I mean, like, how many bad movies has Adam Sandler made? Exactly. He keeps going. Yeah, but his movies always turn a huge profit, yeah. no matter how bad they are. Adam Sandler's name just makes people want to watch a movie. They're like, oh, it's Adam Sandler. I love that guy. Even bad Adam Sandler movies, like, I'm sort of interested to watch sometimes. Yeah. Because he is a guy. He does. He does carry a lot of his own stuff. He's charming enough to, you know. Yeah. And he goes. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I will stand I by need. the fact that I like the movie Click. Me too. Makes me cry. It is sad when he goes, ah, and, and he runs out in the rain. When yeah. his dad says, look at the coin, she goes, fuck off, Dad! Fuck off, Henry Winkle! <laughs> and he goes, That okay, part so is actually heartbreakingly that part, sad. That part makes me want to cry. Henry Winkle crying makes me want to cry. When was the last time you cried at a film? I don't know if I've ever 1917, cried at a movie. 1917, that movie made me sad. Really? I like, I, uh, I, 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 I mean, yeah, there's plenty of movies that have made me sad. I don't know, like... 
as an adult, I don't know if I've cried at a movie. A letter to Zachary made me actually oh, yeah. fucking kill oh, myself. Yeah. Yeah, dear, dear, Zachary, dear Zachary is... That, that, that didn't make me cry, but it made me real mad. Why that, do I keep calling it a letter to Zachary? <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, I love Little that Zachary's movie. Little Zachary's big letter. Dude, the guy who made that... <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen Dear Zachary, you gotta watch it. Also, the guy who made it, he directed it and composed all of the music for it. And it's fucking wonderful. Has that guy done anything else besides that? Yeah. I, have, I follow him on Twitter, but all he ever really talks about is that movie. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, it's a must-watch. Yeah, uh, it's, it's also really infuriating. Uh, yeah, just watch it Watch it if you want to be in a bad mood, I and guess. And also, don't watch it. Don't look into it. Just watch it. Don't look into anything about it. Don't read the synopsis. Don't watch the trailer. Have you seen Don't F*** With Cats? That was awesome. No, everybody's been telling me to watch that. That was really good. It's really it's really messed up. If, if you know, like, uh, all these old kind of gore films that you've is seen it, online. Isn't, isn't it about the, the one guy with ice pick video yeah, guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, I know the story it behind kind that of, guy. It, I was watching it with my parents when I was in Ireland, and then, uh... It showed the like a clip from one guy when ice pick and I was like, I've seen that and my mom was like, What? And I was just like, Oh, uh I mean I mean, yeah, I saw that. She was like, Why did you see that? And I was like, uh it was a popular thing uh in two thousand twelve. Everyone everyone saw it, mom. She's like, I didn't well like what? And yeah, that got awkward. That 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 video was watched under her roof. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I remember seeing it at the time being like, That's fucked up. It is one of the worst videos ever f made. Oh man, in 1917, at the start of the movie, when they're walking through no man's land, and you just see like all the bloated, rotting corpses yeah, and shit. Yeah, he falls through it. Fuck, it's scary. It. it looks so real. I think it was a good movie, but I also it's one of those movies where I don't think I'll ever need to watch it again. It's like Forrest Gump, where you're probably not gonna want to rewatch it. No, it's wrong, 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 wrong. Forrest like, Gump, I've seen 50,000 times. I don't like watching Forrest Gump or Schiller's List. They make me sad. Uh, Wait, you, you you classify those two movies together? <laughs> Forrest Gump's not that. Sad. It's more fun than sad. No, it has the sad no, moment. No, bumps me out. No, the whole end, but the, the the note you leave on is like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Ah, uh, I like I that kind of stuff. I think Forrest Gump's a really good movie, but every time I watch it, I'm like, ugh. I remember people. It's like Castaway. It's like every time I watch that movie, I feel sad at the end of it. I don't want to watch it. Is it just Tom Hanks makes you sad? Yeah. You don't think Castaway is a sad movie at the end of it? It's a good movie. Like, Castaway made me cry the first time I saw it. I like that movie. That's what I mean, but I don't like want to watch movies to cry. Usually, I want to watch movies to laugh. Or I only to... cry really the first time I watch a movie, though. So after that, I know what's coming and I'm ready for it. I'm fine. Mm. But even like Schindler's List, any of those movies I watch, I'm like, like oh, my, my tummy hurts. Did you know that Oscar Schindler was actually kind of a pos? Really? No. <laughs> I'm just being an asshole. He was born in like 1870. He could have been an evil little thing. 1870. I mean, he was like a 50. Uh, you know, probably like like 1890. They got Liam Neeson to play him because Liam Neeson's a big, tall, likable bastard. Yeah. But in actuality, he was a big, fat, ugly and he was Orson Welles type of and guy. He was only five foot two. Just kidding. I don't even. I don't know why I'm just being mean to Oscar Schindler. <laughs> There's no did real you, point. Did you ever see that last interview, the last appearance of Orson Welles on that talk show where he's doing like car tricks? And he's like, doesn't he get mad? He's like, now hold on a minute. Which car do you think I have? <laughs> <laughs> and the host just like walks off. He doesn't. He's not even like participating. <laughs> Orson Welles is really interesting. Isn't there a video? Or isn't there a thing of him getting mad at somebody? What do you mean? No, no I'm thinking of something else. God, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a guy who was doing a, a like a radio interview and starts berating the. Are you thinking of William Shatner? Oh, that might be it. Why am I he, thinking he, of him? For I don't it? know. You were talking about the thing where he's like the guy. He's doing like a book reading and he's like does the intro and the yes. guy's like do it this way. He's like no, no, no. You tell me how would you want, you want me to do it? And I'll do it exactly. Yeah, how it's so awkward. He's like, no, 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 you say it and I'll do it exactly. The guy's you like, want. you know what? Never mind. He's like, no, he's like, no, 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 no. You're, you're the expert. expert. Yeah. <laughs> It's so fucking weird. I don't know why I, I got those two guys mixed up. <laughs> Sometimes my brain don't work so good. Speaking of Orson Welles, there's also uh, the, the I saw a thing of Alfred Hitchcock in like 1979, and he's like big. He's there's some award show. Yeah. And it's like um, like James Stewart and all these guys are like oh, like like making jokes at him, and it cuts to cuts to Alfred Hitchcock, and he's like he's so fucking old. People are making jokes at him, and it cuts back to him. <laughs> And he's, he's expressionless, and his mouth is open, and you can see his teeth rotting. <laughs> and he looks like a corpse. But it's like, but it's like Jimmy Stewart's like, oh, you know, this guy is uh, he's a real mean guy to actors. And people are laughing, and it cuts back to him, and he looks dead. It's really scary. Dude, Alfred Hitchcock had, had the 
most bloated, fat, ransom <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, he was a genius if you hear him talk. Sam's interviews are really good. He's a really good, uh, he's Okay, Zach, you're saying stuff. he's a genius, except he didn't yeah. know how to put a fork down. That's like, that sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> he, he also didn't know how to put a man on the moon. Yeah. You, you forget about that. Oh, he, he made knew, some movies, sure. He knew how to no, point you, a fucking camera, good for him. Oh, whoop de doo you think, You're thinking of, um... Stanley Kubrick. You're thinking of Kubrick with the moon landing. Yeah. He, he did do that. Uh, the moon is fake. Also, um, have you seen these videos trying to prove that, like, space is fake? Where people, like, zoom in on people's, like, feet? What? <laughs> Wait, what? I, I think you're thinking of two different types of videos here. No, yeah. no, 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 there, there's these videos where, uh, I think it's the Canadian Space Station. They, they really focus on these ones for some reason, where they're like... Oh, yeah, well, ca Canadians can't make it to the moon. They're lying, no. but we made it. What I really don't, what I truthfully don't understand about that one... Because at least with the 9-11 stuff, it's like, okay, we, we, you know, we knocked our own buildings down to get into another country. But with the space one, it doesn't make any sense to me because wouldn't other countries expose the fact that we're li that we're like like what does that do? What good does that do? I don't know. Pretending yeah, I mean, to go to the moon? Yeah. What does that give us? I mean, it kicks open the door for everyone else to pretend they also went to the moon. <laughs> Maybe we should get off this. Get anyway. off this. We're, get gonna, off the we're moon. gonna have crazies at a. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, Lyle, you got the big purple. Yeah. I'm getting uh, I'm getting these these card themed keys. Um, and then the glasses they come to life. Wait, WTF, what's go oh He's stealing Ray Bans, get him, kill him! Those are the dumbest glasses. Are they? No. I've seen dumber. Oh, that's fair. There's some real dumb ones out there. I've seen you glasses. You know who you are wearing dumb glasses. <laughs> Come on. Points Get with to the audience. picture. Yeah. Points to audience, looks at big fat idiot with square glasses. Literally smirks. <laughs> My f side mouth curls up like a sideways J. I raise Fuck one you. eyebrow also. <laughs> okay, Lyle. Yeah, what up? Are you editing this? Yeah. Okay, sure. uh, in the bottom right corner, I want you to put a, an emoji. Well, like, not an emoji, like uh, the two dots and a capital I, right? Blank face, right? All right. Now I want you to use your editing skills to uh, show facial expressions in response to what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Okay, Lyle. Lyle, uh, your hair is unkempt because you are not a hairdresser. That's and <laughs> what are we doing? Dude, wait, when did it turn into this word game? <laughs> I thought we were focusing on the emoji in the bottom right. Yeah. 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 Okay, my my range of emotions is, is fluctuating based on what you say. <laughs> okay, one more. Uh, Lyle? You're... A friggin... Uh, Dorkwinkle. And guess what else? Uh, you remind me of this picture. And that's the final thought on that, and if you... <laughs> so I have to put in a picture of what you think... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Alright. I'm up to the challenge. Have you guys ever heard of Power Up Comics? No. No. Wait. What? They're the most hysterically funny shit comics I've ever read in my what life. Is it? Are, are are they? Are you powerful after reading them? No. They're comics from like 2007. So they're all about like the PS2, the Xbox 360, <laughs> the Wii. I want to read that shit. It, it makes me laugh so fucking hard because they're so bad. Yeah. I don't. I don't. If, think... Wait. Is it just like control delete level shit? It's worse, but it's it's it, it kind of loops back around into being hysterically funny. Like I was reading them like on the plane. Because I saved a bunch of them to my phone, and I was like finding it hard to <laughs> laugh out loud. Like, uh, so you, you got these two main characters. One of them's called Shadow, and the other one's called like Chug. So it's like, <laughs> and and they're both like folding their arms, doing like the DreamWorks like <laughs> smiling face. And, <laughs> and then there's this like, there's this straw man character called Dorkwinkle, and he's just this like ugly nerd. And then like he uses the same punchlines over and over and over where. <laughs> Like, he'll be sitting there playing a game, smiling, and then Dorkwink will be like, Do not do you want to try out the Nintendo Wii? And he'll just, like, shoot him in the face at the end of every comic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he'll kill him because he wants to try the Nintendo yeah. Wii? He's like, I'm playing Halo 3, what do you want? Well, how about you play Mario Galaxy on the Wii? He just he shows shoots him getting him, he shot. Shoots him he uses that same punchline, like, 20 times. Have you ever seen that, what is it, like, the Jolly Ranchers comic? Where a guy gets shot in the face? No, no, wait, I need to... No, it's like, it's like the life... Oh, it's Lifesavers. Have you ever seen this comic? <laughs> no. It's, like, so shitty, and it's, it's ruined. This is on the back of a package. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
<laughs> that sucks. <laughs> It sucks. That is the funniest kind of ever made. Put that up. That is the funniest thing ever made. I have a headache. This weather stinks. That's part 07, September 18, 04, 3, But, uh, so there's this power-up comic where it starts off with a PS2 character, like, looking badass into the camera with his arms folded. First panel, he says, beep boop. Second panel, he says, I am a cupcake. Then it cuts to the- to the, one of the guys, Chug. He says, <laughs> well, that was random. <laughs> That's the punchline. <laughs> Is Chug like the cool guy? They're both cool. They both look the same. One has black hair, one has blonde hair. They both <laughs> look exactly the same. And he never redraws a single thing. He, he uses the same, like, Is graphic them. Is he, them. Is he still doing stuff? Is he still making stuff? I have no idea. Now... Is the so the creator uh, of the comic is sort of like making the ch chug and wumble too, whatever what's the other guy's name? Shadow uh, Wumble too? <laughs> <laughs> Dorkwinkle. Yeah, Dorkwinkle, yeah. So 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 Shadow and Chug are like the are like him, basically? Yeah, I think so. Wow. They're two sides of his epic personality. They make me laugh so fucking hard. Oh wow. I'm just gonna say it, that's a that's a clear ripoff of uh, the anger character from Disney Pixar's uh, up. Yep, yep. I mean, uh, Inside Out. No, it is an up too. That guy makes an appearance. He runs out of the old man's mouth. It's like an Easter egg. <laughs> the old man coughs up. That coughs up. Yeah, they always put like a little, a little reference to the yeah. next film, so you can. I look would back love, I would go, love to see that old character spit that he, little red guy out of his mouth. <laughs> and the thing falls, and the guy runs away, but nobody ever mentions it. He coughs into a handkerchief, yeah. and there's a little like splatter of blood. <laughs> there's a bunch of little angers inside. Yeah. yeah. I freaking hate Inside Out. I think it's my least favorite Pixar movie. Well, yeah, Lyle's it, though. Lyle's the dad of that. I am. That's <laughs> true. You're right. I was in a band. The only thing that made me... that I connected with was that fucking stupid little imaginative character dying and going to hell. Because you're a ridiculous character and one day you too will die and go to hell? I was just surprised that they did that. I thought they would save that character and make him like merchandise. I like that the whole thing about that movie is that her little brain islands are gonna crumble and then she'll just turn into like a husk of a woman. <laughs> If her emotions don't sit, what were they even going to get? Oh yeah, like the one of them like killed all the other ones, didn't she? Something like that. She like flushed her out the airlock. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, she killed sadness. Yeah. Idiot didn't realize you need sadness to be a human being. It's not Does sadness true. die forever? I forget. Sadness yeah. does. Fuck. She falls into a blender. <laughs> she gets turned into, into blue goop. I hate sadness so hard. I hate her face. I hate her little dumb demeanor. You say you love her. And I hate Joy just as much. I hate a Disney Pixar emotions as characters guy, right? I like disgust. Yeah. Because she would be disgusted at the sight of me. Yeah. And if, I, I like that in a woman. That's kind of hot, you're right. <laughs> well, who else? Oh, there was that, uh, uh, Weevil. What was his name? Weevil? <laughs> I don't think Weevil's an emotion, dude. There's, no, there's Weevil Knievel. He's like the... <laughs> he's, he's the edgy, scared one. Yeah. Weevil. Weevil Knievel does a backflip and dies. <laughs> yeah. And then she can't feel Weevil Knievel anymore. I freaking love that guy. Yeah. And now he's so is he dead? I, I mean, he's a ghost, so yeah. But is, but is he like, is his is his consciousness forever gone? Is his ghost dead? Yeah. I like to think that Luigi is uh, helping these, these folk pass on, probably to hell. They were probably bad people, but... Well, Luigi was taking a nap while this other guy... <laughs> did, did anyone else get a shiver down their spine looking at the fabric on his clothes? It looks so real. Every fucking hair on my arm just stood straight up from saying All that. of my fucking hair has turned into like a six shape curling inward. <laughs> what are these little bolts you're connecting for? Uh, they're, they're, they're the I, buttons for the elevator. Oh, uh, see, I knew that. Zach. Yeah. You're hanging out with Sarah Silverman. Yeah. She brings you up to her hotel room. Yeah. You're sitting down and having a few laughs. Yeah. Uh, she says, can I masturbate in front of you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you really say that? Yeah, why not? Just open my bag of sand. One sec. <sighs> yes. Chris is literally eating a bag of sand right He's now. on an Irish diet. It's what you get. The sand in your hair, the wind in your mouth. Ireland fact. Did you know that sand is just mud without the Did water you know? in it? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Dolphin is happy. Is that one called Dolphin, that thing? Dolfino. Because he's from Delfino's Plaza. Is that true? Are you lying to us? No. That's There's all. a small sign obstructing my path. There's no way I can get in there. Chris, would you ever have doors that big at your house? Like your ideal house? Uh... 
I mean, I wouldn't ask for it, but if I bought a house <laughs> and it was like that, I'd be that. fine with it. I'm trying to think of what, how big, how too big of a door is. Like, what, what's what's the height of the door? I think 60,000 feet is a little too big. Yeah, I think 60,000, like yeah, 70,000, 80,000 feet. Anything that makes you feel like a, a Lilliputian in your own home shouldn't be yeah. allowed. I, I watched a video talking about architecture. It cuts away to an old <laughs> British guy and he says, these buildings are meant to make you feel like ants living in a big ant column. No, he doesn't say that at all. But and that's then, the idea. And then he carries a leaf on his back. <laughs> <laughs> that is the scariest freaking thing I've ever seen. Why are you mad at it? Oh, you can play pool. You can play billiards. Come on, Lil. Get the... Don't fuck. This is how you win at pool. Why don't... Why don't all the professional pool players simply do this? They're technically not touching the ball. You would get knocked. You know, I would. I'd love to see somebody go in dressed like this and do a, like a like a biker. You'd get knocked out so fast. <laughs> you'd get you get, get your fucking head against head against concrete in two seconds. Mm. Well, you actually did get something from that. Yeah. You're I got a fucking comically large pearl. Am I insane or am I the only one that when I whenever I see pool table, I still think of that stupid Drake and Josh episode where Josh like learns to play pool. And he's really good at it because he uses like math. Did you ever see that episode? No, he uses. Wait, what? He uses math to play. He's pool? like, I'm. Yeah, but the whole uh, the thing. Trigonometry. I yeah, no, no, no. He literally keeps going billiards. He refuses to call it pool. He keeps calling it billiards, and he keeps screaming billiards. So every time I see a pool table, that sticks in my head. You know, uh, Drake got mad that Josh didn't invite him to his IRL <laughs> wedding. He yeah, went like, on Twitter and he was like, <laughs> "Yeah, well, I didn't get an invite." And then he put Josh on blast, and then Josh pretty much was just like, You wanna to come to the wedding? He's like, Yes, I do. And then there's like a forced picture where it's like, Brothers reunited. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. <laughs> kind it of It seems, cool, I mean, I don't look, I don't, I don't want to spread, I don't want to tell tales out of school or anything like that, but it seems to me like Josh is the one who sort of got his life together. He lost 700 pounds. He's got a perfect jawline now. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, he like, was surfs in that, around. He was in that movie where Russia comes back, right? No, North Korea. North he Korea. Became, they, re, they remade it and made it less, even less plausible. It's like North Korea's jumping <laughs> through L.A. Yeah, but he's skinny in it, right? He's got a six-pack and he's got a BBC or something like that. Yeah. He became a Vine star. Really? Yeah. Good for him. You know what? Is good that for him. I'm not good gonna... for him? Is that moving up yeah, from a nickel? Hey, he reinvented himself. Vine! He reinvented himself. Is that that's like the start of the salty <laughs> critic right? <laughs> good for him. <laughs> <sighs> a bad critic! <laughs> How often do you think he goes into like a McDonald's and somebody runs up to him and screams that in his ear? And he goes, uh, uh, do you think he would be like, uh, or like he seems like the kind of guy that would be happy to like. I think he would bounce up. I think he'd bounce up and down and giggle and spit and clap if someone did that to him. Have we talked about Linkara's response to a back credit card? No. No, is what? that real? There's a Linkara video where he's like, "Today we're gonna talk about Batman." Blah blah blah. And then like you know, go. You know, Who, who's that? And it's like <laughs> someone had Linkara, this TV. We, it is Doug, and he's like, "Linkara, we have to t we have to do this bit now. We just have to do it." And he's like, "What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? What out the here? fucking Christ are you going on fucking about?" Sugar and then he's really? just like, "Well, well I, I, we have to yeah. do the bad credit card bit." And then Linkara is just like. What is so implausible about a bad credit card? <laughs> and then it, it's like it's like a big rant in itself. It's like a man who has a cave, a house, and you think a bad credit card is implausible? And then Doug just is like, he goes, oh, "All right, oh my okay. God, you're right." And he's like, "Doug, get in your corner." And then Doug gets in the corner. It's really wow. sad. Yeah. So he put Doug in his place. If, you know what, somebody needed to. But that also came out like 12 years after the original Bad Credit Card, didn't it? It's like way too late. Imagine you graciously host a man on your blip.tv account. <laughs> I missed that website. And he fucking spits in your mouth like that. Guys, can we talk about blip.tv? Can we talk there was, about their there was a website called, CPM? It was f***ing awesome. There was a website called blip.tv. They were like, f*** YouTube. Creators, just put our videos on your websites and we will embed it and we will give you the best CPM ever. And then f Maker bought it and just destroyed it. It was, Is that it was what like, happened to it? Dude, the CPM on that was crazy. I remember I used to put my shitty little cartoons in like 2010 or 11 and I would still make yeah. know, like $100 and I got like a thousand. It was crazy. I made an extra like $2,000 a month with it and then they, they bought it and ruined it. And Without just, any views, by the way. We're yeah. not, we were not getting crazy views. Yeah, it's not all maker's fault, but they were the ones who bought it and just put the final yeah. nail in the coffin. I see what happened is that they were purposely giving people too much money so everybody would use it. So that they could get a bigger share of the market, and then it would just lessen the CPM later, mm. is what I assumed was gonna was going on. But it was fucking magical for like two years for me. Doug Walker must have made like 
a lot, a lot of gold. He must have been so fucking pissed when they got rid of that. <laughs> I'm sure. Because then he has to upload to YouTube, and then YouTube, like, demonetizes all of his videos. Yeah, then he, had, then he had to, like, remake. Remember that time where he's like, I can't put any movie clips on my thing, so he started, like, recreating Jurassic Park and shit? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really sad. It's not, yeah. That's something where it's just, like, it's not his fault, and he was trying his best to make good of a bad situation. No, That's the show the he always wanted to make, though, wasn't it? Remember, Demo Reel? No, Remember Demo he killed the Nostalgia Critic? He was like, he had a conversation with the, the Nostalgia Critic's ghost, and he was like, there's a reason I put you in the ground! And the Nostalgia Critic's <laughs> ghost is like, you can't kill me, because what about boyhood or something? Boy, uh, yeah, some, some oh, fucking see. like movie that he was like, this is the movie that brought you back. It, it, uh, so he's saying this movie is so bad, yeah, the, that that he comes back from the grave to oh, shit. It's it. bad. Oh, it's fucking bad. Yeah, he's eating a fucking baguette. That's actually sweet, dude. I made a very similar 3D model to that baguette one time. Really? I thought you said to the, you were gonna say to the dog. <laughs> no, Nintendo stole my dog idea. <laughs> my I made dog a chicken stuff. fillet roll. You guys ever had a chicken fillet roll? Uh, Are you saying that wrong, or or is the answer no? Like, <laughs> no, it's it's an Irish thing. A chicken a chicken fillet roll. What is in that? It's like one of those baguettes with like breaded chicken in it, and then mayo, and then ketchup oh, it's and like cheese. Oh, like a hoagie almost. Yeah, but it's way better. Interesting. And and if you go to Ireland, they're only two euro for a big fucking baguette with a ton of chicken in it. How many calories is in that though? Like five hundred. Really, only five hundred. I would yeah. eat that. I need a 500 calorie. Like that baguette there looks like 700 calories. That'd be alone. like 2,000 calories with that. <laughs> like 50, with chicken 000, yeah. inside that man, is that, that would be like 50,000 calories. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, is this what a typical Irish dinner looks like with one? No. Nah. Ghost, ghost galore. Yeah, ghost tugging on it. They're eating stinky green liquid. <laughs> Here they come. I'm gonna beat my ass with pastries and such. Oh, look at that! What it's is delicious. That? Be careful, Lyle! Don't worry. I know this is all worrisome, but, uh... I'm gonna cry! I'm actually gonna start... My mascara's gonna start running down my face. Are you a yogurt or a yogurt kind of guy? How do I say it, or how do I like it? Do you guys ever get fucking grossed out when you see those videos of, like, uh, YouTubers, like, jumping into, like, a pool full of jello? Because I just... My immediate thought is, like, and I'm about to be funny right it now, goes up serious, their ass. goes up their ass and their dick hole. Doesn't go up their dick hole Why that not? much. What if they get a boner and they I can barely shove it. a fucking cotton butt up my dick hole. <laughs> uh, I do have like an irrational fear of ugh, like what if I'm using the that. stove <laughs> naked or something and it cauterizes my dick hole shut? Does anyone else have that or is yeah, that just uh, me? That's common common. Yeah, that's, theory, so that, yeah. that's that's like I think that's right below like fear of height. Mm -hmm. In terms of commonality. <laughs> well, I mean everyone has that thing, right? We- I think we can all agree. Everyone has that thing where if you're sitting and your balls are uncomfortable, you're like, Oh god, they twisted. Mm. I wonder if I'm gonna sit on one, it's gonna pop like a grape or something. Damn, look at that smoke! <laughs> Please you, use your little fucking snot. My mighty green friend. Yeah. You're gonna die from, uh, <laughs> asphyxiation there. Oh, cool. Look at this guy. This looks like a Jimmy Neutron character. <laughs> it actually- it really does. His head is fucking weird. <laughs> That's not Luigi's fault. That's your fault. That's Jimmy Neutron post brain blast. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a went, I, I, I've learned too much about the state of the universe. I can't handle it anymore. And he blew his brain out, and then he came back to life and became a chef. And yeah, then he had a big uh, pot, a big pan there. The fucking smart life doesn't suit Jimmy. Yeah. No. He gave it all up, but he still gets royalties on some of the garbage, bonkers bullshit that he invented. So he's just allowed to cook. He's allowed. You're sucking proud. that guy so good. Do you think a show like Jimmy Neutron can even exist now? Like, what, uh, of, smart of how, child? Of how, no, because of how ugly the designs are. Like, Jimmy Neutron's got eye sockets and shit. I don't think they even design characters like that anymore. Eye socket? He does he? Jimmy Neutron has eyes, like, visible eye sockets where, <laughs> where his eyes are embedded inside of. Yeah. He's got, like, like wrinkles around his mouth. It's fucking creepy, man. I hated All Real Monsters because it was ugly, but I was, like, young. I was, like, young, young. I, I, you know what? I refused to watch it, but you know what, that, you know what though? There was one character I hated was the guy holding his eyes. I, I hated that guy, but I, I think also it was more the color palette. <laughs> it's really it was. desaturated. The, yeah, it was desaturated. It was, like, blue and, like, cold-looking. I think it was the color palette more than the designs. Maybe you're right. Because I had the same problem with Nightmare Before Christmas. I didn't want to watch it. I never watched it. But I, I like young. the little purple guy and the, the licorice-looking lady. Yeah, I, I never liked claymation stuff as a kid because I thought it was ugly. I liked it because it creeped me out. Yeah, I, I kind of always associated it with those, like, shitty stop-motion, like... Like, bass. like, yeah, like the, the Rudolph. Rudolph. 
things, and I, I always that. associated that with like getting sick at Christmas. Dude, I, I always thought <laughs> yeah. there's a part. I think it's at Rudolph. I think it is yeah. where they teach that guy in the woods to walk again. And it's that the put one foot in front of the other song, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Put one foot in front of the other. But he does like a baby walk, and I thought it was Whoa. the funniest fucking thing of all time, because he walked like Tommy Pickles, that old creepy wizard. He starts walking quicker and quicker. That chef had three hearts like a cow. Is that a prosthetic leg on the bottom left? Uh, uh yeah, I think he that's was, half of a fish. He was an Afghanistan war veteran, that chef. It looks like a leg to me. Check this out. This thing is alive. Kill it. Oh, my oh. God. what? You just blew its head off. Yeah, it's gone now. So you actually get yeah, to see, like, innards in this game. Dude, Luigi has been, f like, sucking up rats and... What the hell? You stupid f idiot. No, maybe I should have moved before the... Oh. <laughs> you, Luigi. He's gonna have to beat that thing to death with a belt. Which is something you've really done, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lel actually fucking in cold blood. I missed him saying that in the episode, and I saw someone comment it, and I'm like, he said what? I think I've <laughs> told that story before, but, like, I used to live in a windowless garage, and it had, it was, like, infested with rats and shit. I was basically fucking Charlie from, Whoa, uh, from Always Sunny. From Always Sunny. <laughs> that was basically my existence. But, you had, um, you had a toe knife and everything? At, at one point... I, uh... Yeah, your landlord was, was kind of like Frank Reynolds of that show. He was, yeah. I, I had this belt with, like, a big-ass buckle, and there was a rat skittering ac across the floor as I was taking my belt off. <laughs> so I took a swing at it and managed to f brain it, and I got a picture of, like, that belt buckle, like, covered in brain That's matter. That's just, just by the way, for <laughs> context, like... people were imagining a regular dress. This is like a f wrestling belt, or it's like a cowboy belt. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's stupid looking. I've never, I've never even seen Lyle wear it, which makes it even stranger. <laughs> Lyle took his cowboy boots off and took this thing off and then <laughs> fucking pelted this little, this little, uh, rodent. Why did you do that? Rats are nice. Uh, not if you have a f***ing infestation of them. Then they're f***ing awesome. They make, like, your air <laughs> shitty because they shit in your walls. That's fun. It's that kind of fun. funny. That's good for your moon system. Yeah. My, my moon system? Your moon system. If you go to fucking India now, you'll be fine. Exactly. That's some like <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Some Chris? Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> shit, where she's like, I'm holistically infesting my home system. with rats. Yeah, because you're saying he's like microdosing, so like building up his tolerance. It's it's worse shit. A, it's, yes. like a flu, it's like a flu shot. <laughs> That's racist. Well, is it? Is shitting in the street a race thing? I think that was no, a serious I, problem. I, yeah. No, if anybody shits in the street, they shouldn't be doing Look, that. Look, there's a video called Indian Pooh Beach, Dude, okay? if, a, if a seven foot tall, beautiful Nordic blonde man <laughs> shit in the street, I'd say, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Find a toilet, buster. I guess you're right. <laughs> Look, I don't see color, I just see shit, man. That's and if, true. And if I see, we, you know, we all, we all shit brown. <laughs> Ugh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> you like that? I don't like Luigi anymore. Get the baguette. Oh, it broke. Get the baguette. It's been destroyed Get the baguette. Get the baguette. Get the baguette. by a madman. What the hell is that? A fucking now, hornet's if we, nest? Now, if we were really cool, Chris, we would keep saying that for about another five minutes and laugh about it, and then we would put a shirt out that says that. Get the baguette. Get the baguette. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool... We could, we could force that, I bet. Guys, leave a hashtag, give it a get, and we'll give you a $100 <laughs> gift card to Radio Shack. But it will be printed out on A4 paper, and it won't work. And if you scan it, we will lo it'll lock your cell phone up. <laughs> They'll send us your location. We'll send the police to your house. You, you, fifteen black helicopters will circle your house. We've reported that coupon is missing, and as we know, the police have nothing better to do than to track you down like a dog, which okay. they also track down. Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you ever seen any movie, any animated feature film where the characters are dogs? They have dog catchers roaming the streets on the beat. It really is very. Um... Or is dog catcher even a job? <laughs> I it no, I like, don't think so. I don't so. think that's even a real job. And I think if you like find a dog or something, you can call somebody yeah. and they'll come get it. But there's not a guy running around with a fucking net trying to catch him. Gym. It's just he's, animal shelter he's people. He's got a little earthworm gym head. This guy. That looks like Stinky from Casper, except <laughs> now he's urine flavored. I was gonna say some of these guys really do look like that. I forgot. Did you know there's a cameo in that Casper live action movie with with Dan Clint Aykroyd and Clint Eastwood? Who's Clint Eastwood in that movie? At the same... Oh, oh no, Dan Aykroyd is the Ghostbuster in yeah, it. Yeah, he comes But he's got a mustache for no reason. <laughs> it's probably because he was shooting something else and he didn't yeah. want to shave. No, there's a part in the movie where uh, he's looking in the mirror and he gets possessed by a ghost and he starts changing into different celebrities. Which celebrity? Which ones does he change into besides Clint Eastwood? He changes into the Crypt Keeper from fucking... Oh, yeah! That scared me as a kid. I, that was the first time I ever saw that guy. 
I like that rat's tail design. <laughs> That's because it's like not curved. It's not perfectly curved. It's nice and squiggly. Okay, Lyle. Like trivia my heart time. And mind. Trivia time. Trivia time. It don't f up. Don't f up, Lyle. Oh boy, pressure's on. Explain to me what a bump map is. Go, Ooh, dude. You are so fucked, Lyle. I am so fucked. Uh, it's it's kind of like a texture. <laughs> this is fucking. So far, this is so good. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good, Lyle. It, it's kind of like a texture, but it's not flat. It gives it gives things uh, 3D objects. This is so wrong. Oh. Am I, have I fucked up already? It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, Chris and I know what this is, and the fact that you don't- What is it, Zach? <laughs> don't tell him, Chris! Oh, As if I would tell a peasant like you, <laughs> my vast knowledge, my my library of Alexandria inside my, my prefrontal cortex. Whoa, it's a- it's a- it's That's a rat, a rat king. king! It's a rat king! Oh, no, it's oh, not. no they're not tied together. Okay, they trivia guys, what's a rat king? Go! That I know. Go. Zach already knows. We, we wrote a Hellbenders episode about a rat king. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. a fucking pizza pie where all the rats are tied <laughs> together by their tails. Fused like, by feces. The moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. What yeah. happened? Was that the episode where they like have a giant blue bottle fly as a pet? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> deleted fucking forgotten episode. Uh, <laughs> we had like ten Hellbenders we had written. A lot, we had a lot of stuff written for that. But now it's oh, never gonna happen. You know why? You know why it's never gonna happen? Why? Cause I sold out. Oh yeah, me too. Chris, can you do your best impression of that first note that's hit in the uh, Zero to Hero from Hercules? What? Oh uh, no, I mean the opening song. You mean the opening song of Hercules? What song? I think she goes. Ah! She screams. <laughs> she she goes, ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't hit that. What? She goes. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was things all running the mark. <laughs> you could, you should just, you should auto tune. The editor should auto tune your little thing. They're gonna auto tune and make me sound worse on purpose. <laughs> also, pitch it up like ten octaves. Auto tuning is kind of hard to get right. There's a. Uh... There's that famous story of Matt and Trey trying to do auto tune for the Kanye West. I was just gonna bring that up. Yeah, they tried to they sang it right and they did it and it sounded like it didn't do anything. Yeah, and they're like, what's going on? You have to sing off key for it to sound good. Yeah, you have to be a bad singer. Well, for it to sound like auto well, like what sound like auto tune. For it to be identifiable as auto tune. Yeah. Because it's it was made to not sound like that. Is that America? Oh no. Which one? America. Now it's a that's America, it's Florida. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. It's America. And that is a submarine. That's the We're top, to the, the top submarine. half, the top half is Spain, almost. If you cut off the whole bottom half... I was... love Spain so much. Cool geography episode. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move to Portugal. Let's move to Portugal. Let I just want to move to, to any friend. country where I can't understand anything anybody's saying. Uh, come to America then, buddy. We have a lot of idiots here. Yeah, Americans on their tractors eating cheeseburgers, <laughs> waving their guns around. Yeah, this place is a dump, dude. <laughs> have you looked around? I love I love George Carlin's last, like, six specials because there was just him pissed off and it was him doing, like, slam poetry. And nobody's laughing, but everyone's clapping. Did you see, like, the last two George Carlin specials? Is that the one where he's like, he's we're like, jacked up, coked out? Rick. Yeah, 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 he's just, like, rapping. He's like, he's like, we're jacked up, coked up, bare to technology, gizmos, gadgets. It's like, what the <laughs> hell are you talking? You're just rapping, dude. Underheard, oversounded. Small brains, big bodies. Nipple-fisted and pistol hand. We God, I, it's, <laughs> this is a serious... Okay, so people, there was a guy on YouTube, and I forgot his name, but he did a George Carlin impression. He was, like, a George Carlin impressionist, and he was called the sub, like... Some like IT thing to do like a speech, like a little like it's a private room, and he took George Carlin's like 1970s or I think it's 70s bit about stuff. It's it's not a bad bit, but he took it and he replaced the word stuff with data, and nobody's <laughs> laughing because the bit the whole thing is originally was like if you didn't have so much goddamn stuff, you wouldn't need a house. <laughs> You could just walk around all the time. That's all your house is. It's a pile of stuff with a cover on it. And he talks about stuff. But anyways, this guy replaced it said data, so it doesn't make any sense anymore. But anyways, it's the worst thing ever. It goes up for like 10 minutes, and nobody's laughing, nobody's <laughs> clapping, but it's gone, and I can't find it. Aww. If anybody has it saved, please send it to me. Please. Wasn't this last movie Tarzan 2? George Carlin? Was, I think so. Is there a Tarzan 2? He, well, he yeah. wasn't, he, wasn't he, he... No, he was also in Scary Movie 3 as the as the parody of the Matrix guy. <laughs> you know that? I'm pretty sure Tarzan 2 came after that, but I'm not sure. Let's think of George Carlin's... I bet it was some shitty 3D movie that nobody ever heard of. Are we allowed to talk about the Waterman movie? Oh, God. Are we, is that something that's on the table or no? Oh, my God. I forgot about that movie. Do that you was know? a Newgrounds thing, right? It, yeah. yeah. It, it was publicly posted online and nothing ever happened. So. It was Leslie Nielsen's yeah. last 
thing he ever did, right? It was his seriously he, his last thing. Yeah, there was there was a Newgrounds guy that made like a cartoon called Waterman, and and it, that, that's I guess his last name. It was just like a whatever early internet cartoon. It was fine, I guess. I don't know, but uh, it, that guy somehow got money to kickstart a movie and L Leslie Nielsen was in it. It's like the last role he ever did. And he's I, voice acting and he looks like himself in the movie. And yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it ever got made. Well, no. in, fair, in fairness it, to that guy, it was like the guy was a new guy. trying to make a feature length, like two hour long movie. And, but in fairness to him though, also the opening part that he did, a little sequence thing he did look good. good. Yeah, yeah, it looked pretty okay. It looked great for 2008 though. It looked, you know, or whatever it was, 2008, 2009. <laughs> Let's dance. Oh, look at him go, look at him go, look at him go. Look at him go, look at him go. Look at him go, look at him go. He ran so fast he shit himself out. <laughs> he shit his soul out. Yeah. Can someone please mod this game and make Green Luigi brown? Please. <laughs> and make it every time he comes out, there's a big fart noise. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Guys, you will get so many likes and retweets and upvotes on interesting as fuck. Um, yes. Just do it. Yep. And put brown stains on Luigi. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this place fucking kicks Wow, this place is fucking cool. I love the I'm so fucking epic. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this fucking guy so hard. I really do want to see this guy like get his head cut up or something. <laughs> Here, bring bring back up a visual of him bobbing like that. Doesn't he look like uh, Cortex in Crash One on those screens? You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what that means. Shut up. <laughs> tuba, tuba, tuba. Play the brown note. Fuck. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what, yeah, what? Did you blow that Step on it! Step on it! Step on it. That is amazing. Can you eat that note? Yeah. That is the brown note. They dyed it purple for f video game. Luigi Comatose gave him a thumbs up. <laughs> it hurts every time I do it! Whoa. Does touching that hurt you? It is a symbol. It slices into your fingers when you try to grab it. <laughs> Cut what, your, drummers have no fingers anymore? Cut your finger tips off. One of the funniest things you can do as, as an adult is put a gong next to a crib with a baby and smash it. <laughs> Not only just once, but about 50 times in a row. Yeah. Because eventually the baby stops... Whoa. That's fucking scary. Just run. Lyle! What? Run! Can you even get past this part? This yeah. is impossible. This is the most fucking crazy thing I ever saw. <laughs> it's just a guy doing that. <laughs> No, it's scary. <laughs> Can you kill it's terrifying. The... Can you kill this son of a bitch? Yeah. My dad used to do that to me and he'd capture me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did this to your dad. When he would do that. We used to have a wicker chair in my living room as a kid and I'd hide under it. And I'd listen on crazy conversations. A wicker chair? Mm-hmm. How did you hide under- what do you mean? Did it was have... like, a perfect, like, hiding spot. It was like- Did it have like a blanket over it or something? No, it was just wicker. But you could look through the little holes and see out of it. But I'm saying the sides were totally covered. It wasn't like there yeah. was okay. That makes sense. Yeah, we had we had like a glass table when I was young, a glass top. But it had do like go a, on. No, no, it's gonna do be go crazy. On. Chris, you're gonna love this part. <laughs> and guess what else? There's metal poles, but it's like I used to crawl through. It was like a square. <laughs> it was like with like an X's for the sides. I would squeeze through it. Yeah. And just sit in there. That's cool. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> One time when I was a little kid, what? I was I was like going down a spelunking hole on my own, and I was facing down. And I got into a small crevice and I got stuck. And then what? they tried pulling me up, but they'd break my legs and that would send me into shock. So they left me down there. And he sucked into your own septic fluid. That's a real story about a guy <laughs> who died in a splunking hole. Wait, that really happened? Yeah. He went he went down into this crazy fucking hole. And they were like, probably don't go down into the other holes in this hole. He's like, nah. And he just <laughs> he, he went right down <laughs> head first. And then he got stuck. Imagine be so imagine being in pitch black. You're you're facing like like you're just down. You're facing down in, in a hole and you're crammed into it. There's no way to back up. And the only way they could have gotten him out was to put like a like a you know a rope on his feet and pull him. But it would have broken his leg, and that would have sent him into shock. So they just left him down there. And he just like suffocated. Yeah, I don't think they ever got him out. What was the plan, leaving him down there? Just or... letting him die. You can't. I think the point is you can't. There's he's just fucked. You just can't do anything. So, yeah, dude. Uh, I, I was. So watching... they, they just let him fucking die, yeah. wedged in a. Dude, like... they tried getting him out for you like two days. You would be surprised, dude. I've seen a bunch of stuff on this. There was, um, there's a lot of cases. I was looking at something a few weeks ago about somebody who went inside, like, scuba diving, or cave diving, or whatever. It's so f dangerous, but this guy was, like, in there, and he got lost or something, or disoriented, and somebody else came in to save him, and that guy f died. 
And there's videos of like people going into these little, uh, these, these scuba diving little cave dives. Is that spelunking? That's just spelunking, yeah. right? Spelunking is the stupidest shit I ever That's heard. That's just water diving inside of a cave? Spelunking is when you just go, go down a tight ass hole. It's not the water though, is it? I don't think so, no. But have you seen the stuff on like go like scuba like diving? That's Hell scuba no. diving. Dude, people get lost to die down there all the time, and there was one video of like a, a dead body, like a head comes oh off my or something. God. It really is like hell. You can't the thing is you can't do anything too. Yeah. It's actually so dangerous to recover people that when they get lost, usually it's just like alright. People get like I guess adrenaline from get, getting stuck in little holes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's like that's the worst thing possible. Well, there's that guy who's in the Charlie the Chocolate Factory uh, sewage thing bathing himself in se <laughs> the septic tank. That was hell on earth for him. We've brought up Charlie and the Chocolate Factory like four times in this place. You know, for a movie that's not that great, I sure do watch it a lot. The new one or the old one? The new one. I've seen the new one way more than the old one. I like the old one better as a movie, but the new one I've watched way more. I can't watch that movie. We watched it it's like, fucking like funny. a few months ago. I just can't watch That's another movie where, like, actually, even as an adult, the colors are so... Co like, it... it I sound like a pussy, but it's like I look at that movie. The movie feels cold. It feels cold when I watch it. I can't That's describe it. That's because it is cold. I know, but I don't like that. The original movie feels warm when it needs to be. The, it's got to be gratifying sometimes. Gratifying. When they go into the charcoal chocolate factory, it's it's nice. It's saturated. There's chocolate everywhere. I get, I just don't like the way it looks. And I I, I like I actually like like Nightmare Before Christmas and other things that he's done. Mm -hmm. I like I even like uh, what's it called. Beetlehead, uh, Beetlejuice. Beetlehead is a great movie. <laughs> I love Beetlehead. Guys, yeah. me and Lyle are starting a band. It's called uh, Bandtopia, and we need a drummer and a bass player. And we need some hot girls to dance around while we play. Yeah, absolutely. We do need a big, fat, ugly twerking bitch in the background, so... And you need to have a heart attack about three weeks into it. Yes. <laughs> and we'll build, a, we'll build a huge, broad statue of you. Yeah. We need we need at least one overdose per year. That's and... fucking... God! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did that thing make this? Toad, Toad, my Wait. best friend. Can you please listen to Moonlight Sonata? This is the song that plays in my mind whenever I think back on what could have been. <laughs> That's not Moonlight Sonata. It's yeah, it's like royalty-free Moonlight Sonata. It does have like the da na 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 na, but yeah, other than that, you're not Beethoven. You're a fraud. <sighs> That's totally me. <laughs> this is something Chris would do. This boss is actually kind of cool. I love music bosses. Uh, <laughs> no stairs for you. I am invincible. Is he going to throw those chairs at your head? He's going to make me sit forever. Did you guys ever hear about the guy? The guy was ziplining with his girl. Ziplining his girl. And he went so fast behind her that she she came to a stop, but then he flew into the back of her and her head fall off. Her head fall off? Her head fall off. <laughs> what? Why her head fall off? No, I'm not, I'm not buying this. <laughs> it's <laughs> velocity. It's so hard to tear a head off a body. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> That's the face I make when you say stupid shit like that. <laughs> Aw. Is this a drag queen? It's fucking mm. sweet. What would you do if you were sleeping with a chick, and then you woke up, and she was trying to physically pull your head off of your neck? I would literally just shove my two fingers up her and rip it out. <laughs> okay, I got in an argument. <laughs> I got in an argument with my girl, girl about that, okay. this. <laughs> what? I got- not- not about ripping off a mm -hmm. Vaginas point down, yes or no? Whose point side are down? you on? Yes, they point down. Yeah. Uh, if they're standing up, yeah. Okay, down? I got- yes, I got in an argument with someone who had one, and I'm like, vaginas, you know, they point down. Because you're talking about, like, oh, when I was a kid, I used to think that they pointed, like, out, like yeah, a Yeah, like a peepee, -pee, yeah. yeah. I think but it's somewhere in the middle, though, it's not point. quite down, man. Like, the asshole's down, it's not- it's not down. Mm. It's like in- it's- uh, it's split the difference, I think, that's fair. It, it's it's more down than it is out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's not like it's not like it's not like where the penis is. This is gonna be the new. Is this red dre or is this dress gold or black? Yeah, do yeah. vaginas point down? Can, Tell can, us can, in we, the comments. can we get can we get uh, Twitter debating about this? <laughs> I want to see I want to see people on CNN talk about this. Can we get Doctor Smart on this? Doctor Smart, what do you think? <laughs> I think that. That's what he thinks, I guess. Yeah, he's he angry. so mad thinking about vaginas. <laughs> he's angry that we're talking about women like they're objects. So he became his piano, which is a rational thing that you do in Dude, anger. Dude, he is destroying the fucking inside of that piano. That would just ruin the tuning. Is it like a, it like a $20,000 piano or more? That one's like fifty grand for sure. <laughs> 
It's like fucking so big. It's a whale piano now. Can we get an, a, 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 an antique uh, guesser, pricer guy on this? To tell us how much that piano is worth? Dr. Antique, how much is that piano worth? 45 units. Units long. I fucking hate Star Wars currencies called units. Is that what it's called? It's the most fucking unoriginal, boring shit ever. Is it really? Yeah, they should have called it like Spennies or something. Spennies? Yeah. Space pennies? Dickle. Yes! Space pennies! <laughs> <laughs> Spennies. Yeah, no, remember in uh, The Force Awakens, it's like 50 units. <laughs> Whenever I watch Star Wars, I'm always like, man, economics needs to be a big part of this. And no. politics, yeah. And taxations of trade routes. It really is all, in, in all of the movies, it really is just like a mirror to reality. The problem is the prequels, nope, they did this stuff nobody cared about. But if you look at the original films, they all were about like, it's clearly inspired by the Vietnam War and by like, World War II. There's been an, uh, there's been like a big movement now of people making videos being like, the politics of Star Wars is actually pretty good. No, like, it's not. It's, it's, yeah, I know. <laughs> You say like the prequel movies are all yeah. Of people them. are like, it gave us a good insight into no. how the how no, the like, universe works. I it's like this I don't is boring. Think, I don't think it's an inherently bad idea because the first the first couple movies had them, but, but it's the way dude, they did it. Yes, yeah, the dude, way they did it. The Return of Star Wars. The first sentence no. is the taxation no. of trade routes. I it's totally like, agree. I completely agree. <laughs> Star Wars is stupid. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I only like two two movies out of everything. Yeah, I like same. four and five, and some of Jedi, but kind of not a lot of it. I think three has some good ideas in it. Yeah, I know, but it's so boring. I agree. Got him. Hey, you know when we were playing uh, Dragon Ball? Yeah. You do realize we pissed off a lot of people, I right? Told, yeah, I told Did a lot we? about that. Yeah, we were saying, like, give it give it five months and everyone will agree with everything we said in that video. That's happened to me before. That happened to me with Fallout 4. Everybody <laughs> fucking loved that game when it came out, and I was like, this is kind of boring, and like this guy fucking bothers you all the time to do chores, and people were, were like, "No, it's great!" And then now everyone's kind of like, "Eh, that game was boring, and a guy bothers you all the time to do chores." Yeah, I mean, we've done that game. I have no. Ragging on video games pisses people off more than anything else in the world. Like, you can literally drop a brick on a child's head, <laughs> and they will be less mad at you than saying like Red Dead Two sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially when it first comes out, because people, like, just bought it, and they're, yeah. they're like... They want to justify what they paid money for. Yeah. Which is understandable, I guess. I mean, yeah. I also, my, my blood is I don't fucking know anything about video games, really. Mario can jump, and yeah. run, and fall down holes. It's really all you gotta know. Yeah. I'll eat that. Got it. It's playing Celtic music. Ah, I eat this. Ah, the Norsemen will rise again, man. <laughs> oh, Barf... Bar Bartholomew. Aww. Is he really a dolphin, like he said? He says, my arm is a dolphin! What is that from? Shut up. What is that from? Nothing. That is from something I, I, my brain remembers it. What is that? Shut up. <laughs> well, that is, that's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> I want you to revel in that fucking annoying. I'm gonna Google it, fuck you. Hey, go down that trap door, or as I like to call it, a fap door, because you come down it and slam it shut. Well, you you well, come down it and slide down it like well, a slip was, and slide. Well, was there a point where you said fap? Like, out loud to people? No, yeah, like, I don't think uh, so. Time to fap. Time to fap. <laughs> that's a very weird onomatopoeia. I don't know if I can get behind it. Anybody that says that in real life is my enemy. Like, how dry is your hand when you do it if it makes that noise? No, is it the idea? It's like... Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah it's but the that's opposite. not... That doesn't work. <laughs> yes, it does. Fap? For... Yeah, it should be like... Fibbit. Yeah. Flippity there should be an L at least in there. You say like a, like a, like a CH or an L. Falp maybe. I don't know. I oh. I even don't like that. I like his little SpongeBob footsteps. Oh no, you don't. Don't tell me what I do and don't. God, like. you're just looking for clout as usual. Wow. What say? That's what's gonna do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, loyal. Have your retweets, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Enjoy your karma, dude. Yeah, I got it. There, I guess there is like a genre of post where it's like, wow, they put this detail in there. Listen to it. And then they'll just post it. Let, let's have another it. conversation about how fucking a horrible Reddit is. It's pretty bad. That's all I need to know. Yeah, let's move on. Oh, she's getting pissed. She's gonna rip out every hair in that cat's head. <laughs> every Luigi's gonna get there and it's just gonna be like bloody and hairless. And he's gonna feel bad. 
even though it's not really his Let's fault. Let's go to Reddit right now. Let's be completely fair. Let's be totally fair to yeah. Reddit. Let's see how long it takes until I find something that pisses me off. <laughs> Let's be completely neutral about this. Reddit.com. All right, front page. How you doing, Zach? You angry yet? Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit angry, just kind of annoyed. I'm just mildly annoyed right now. Okay. Go to or mildly annoyed. <laughs> Is that a f sub? <laughs> it should be. I'm mildly annoyed. For when you're not full on pissed, but <laughs> literally seven seven things about Trump on the front page is cool. The front page of Reddit with like not signed in is the worst cancer. That, that's what I'm looking at right now. That will piss me the f off too. I want to do another it. another Trump thing. If you're not logged in, you go to front page. You'll f you'll squee. For every like 50 annoying things or just things where you're like uh, it lo lowers your IQ, there's one thing that says like this one thing that says I only ate food that I grew or foraged for one year. All right, you <laughs> that know what? That person's psychotic. <laughs> no, it, this, Wait, foraged? This guy foraged like you're for a fucking bitters. Pig? Yeah, he foraged. This man foraged. Yeah, the a the absolute top thing on my phone is about Trump. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm just imagining this disgusting man scuttling around in I, the woods. I, how, how far are you until I see something about doggos or puppers or something? <laughs> you like this? Like a medieval times? No right. stupid questions. Today, I told my mom that I have no eternal monologue. She <laughs> stared at me like I have three heads. Is having one common? <laughs> this person just found out that they aren't sentient. <laughs> yeah. Somebody posted the fucking gopher looking behind it from 2005. <laughs> Are you like what? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I I actually have never like gotten into Reddit really. I'll occasionally go to really specific ones if I want to look up something. Like I I I never go on it to just browse. I always go on it with an intent to look up something specific. I, I literally I, I'm not just saying this to cover myself. Actually, I am, but I only use it when I'm shitting. Like, I'm never just going there to go there. I'm usually, like, if I'm killing five minutes, I'm, on, I'm in an Uber or something, yeah. or, like, sitting in, like, a doctor's office, I'll just go and look, but it's, like, every time I fucking do it, every time I get angry, I like, close out of it. Every single time. You know what? It's, like, something I wish, uh, people would learn, but they just can't. How to only leave me likes, positive comments, and no negative feedback? Tomar. <laughs> That's Joshua Tomar. You'll never get my emerald. That's Tomar's real voice, and he puts on the fake one to sound cool. Yeah, he's going... That's a real voice. Yeah, yeah, as soon as the the microphone's off. When that's the mic what he's... is off and the camera lights go dim, his fucking real voice comes out. Why the hell is this in a hotel? I don't know. Wouldn't you want one in yours? Just sword fighting specters? Okay, you've sold me. How oh, much do I have to pay for this? <laughs> there is really no price you can put on that. You have to commit like a triple murder, right? So you also have to make them so like tragic and like you know Full of guilt and like <laughs> anguish that they they, they they decide to stay in the mortal realm. As yeah, a ghost. The, the guilt has to be that they never sword fought each other. <laughs> so you have to get three people. You have to make them like hate each other to high heaven. Yeah, you've got to get them all interested in fencing, and then you've got to commit a triple homicide. That's got to be expensive. That's a specialty job. Even if it's not expensive financially, it's at the very least expensive with your time. Yeah, I mean you you've played. A good amount of Hitman, Chris. Like mm. when you have like a specific objective, how much does that jack up the price in that game? Uh, a lot. You just sucked a bird in there, man. Well, do you remember that like phase you went through where you, you thought you were like being cool and like the guy from Inception? You're like, <laughs> I'm gonna put an ID in your head. <laughs> Lyle would always, Lyle would always take his two hands and like move his fingers around and put it next to your oh, his hands. Oh my fucking god! I trick Lyle, you guys Lyle, into buying one timeshare, and all of a sudden it's just every conversation. Lyle, with this. Lyle there was a Lyle had a point period where he was like a magician. He was doing cool magic tricks. <laughs> he was like, let me blow your mind. <laughs> what if I told? What if I told you there, no! were, there, were, there were more grains of sand on the earth than there were stars in the universe? <laughs> Would that blow your mind? Just a quick question. Well, go back to those coins you missed. Is that you true? You remember when Lyle had that short miniseries on HBO called Mind Blown? <laughs> I, he like walked out, I'm Lyle, welcome to Mind Blown. Listen, if my fucking career is a joke to you, Zach... <laughs> hey, I'm not dissing Mind Blown, it's got a 62% on Rotten Tomatoes. It got renewed for two, maybe even three seasons. Yeah, ten years ago, buddy. <laughs> Yo, you know when I was asking you to go get those coins? Yeah, yeah. did I ignore you? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Just because I made fun of your Inception face. <laughs> Have you ever, ever met somebody that's like, Inception was like a life-changing movie? I still haven't seen that movie before. That's a good movie. It's okay. Yeah, it, it's like, Christopher Nolan's movies are cool, but the characters are never really good or interesting. 
Obviously, like, some things stand out sometimes, but it's That's not- That's Leonardo DiCaprio, It's not right? like you could be like, Christian Bale is my favorite Batman. He's so interesting. The thing that kind of, like, gives me the personal, like, Ugh, with those movies is, Everyone always thinks they're super fucking smart, but then if you ever sit down and actually think about them, none them. of the fucking logic checks out. Yeah. So they're like a quote-unquote smart movie that you have to turn your brain off for. Yeah. Well, isn't the logic behind that they're just throwing so much stuff at you, so much stuff at you so quickly that you're kind of not having to be able to think about the last thing you you were surprised by? Yeah, kind of. I can't stand watching movies like that though. One of the funniest things. See that ball on that rope. Yeah. One of the funniest things you can prank your friends with, go into their house, nail one of those to the roof. They won't know what the H is going on. <laughs> I did, I saw a really funny prank where this guy, like, bugged somebody's house with, like, 4,000 cameras and, like, 4,000 microphones. And, like, documented his life and live streamed it for, like, 12 years. <laughs> it was fucking really funny. Dude. <laughs> if someone did that to me, I'd lol. If someone did that to me, I'd Lyle? be fucking... I've got some good news for you. <laughs> There'd be so many moments of me just like scratching my asshole and looking around. I bet if you watched yourself through your own camera, you'd hate yourself. Yeah, you probably, yeah. That's the thing, you know, I, I, I read literally exactly that sentence verbatim somewhere recently. No, well, like, not, not exactly the same, but it's like, if you, if you could look at yourself through it like third person, like, you would just hate yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's like the thing, right? Anytime you see a picture of yourself, you're like, eh, is that what I look like? Yeah. You know, because you're used to seeing yourself. But imagine yourself seeing how dead you on act. in a mirror. Yeah, imagine seeing your eyes just like wander. You look like a fing idiot, man. But also just acting alone, though. Like with other people, you're probably putting on something, but if you're alone, like just looking at your bad posture when you're by the computer, <laughs> you're fing like coughing. Oh my god, you'd, you'd hate yourself. I've told you that I've got a mirror to my right, so whenever <laughs> I look over. I don't know why you do that. Sometimes I'm just literally, my head is over my keyboard, and I'm like, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever once considered? Is this a riddle? Have I you could. considered the man who was 12 feet tall but two inches long? <laughs> the man who was both poor and rich. Have you seen the video of the 20 year old, uh, or not 20, 20 foot uh, high school girl? What? She was not 20 feet. She is. Krishna, she was not. There's no fucking way. <laughs> the tallest person ever was like, like, no, she's like 20 nine feet. feet. Okay, dude. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought that you were hyperbolizing anyway, but. <laughs> 20 feet. Remember the 50,000 foot dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, a couple years ago, Chris and I were talking about like the tallest dinosaur. Chris was like, oh yeah, wasn't there a dinosaur that's head touched the clouds? And I was like, Chris, the clouds were like 16,000 feet up. And he was like, no, it's possible. And I was like, no, the tallest thing is like 100 feet. <laughs> it could have been real. <laughs> I don't even think you could have bones that. I mean, you could, you could build like a machine, maybe, like steel, maybe. Have you, you seen The Mist? There's a big thing walking around that movie. It wouldn't be able to eat enough to live. It would fucking die of yeah. starvation so fast. It yeah. could swallow the earth and absorb. Absorb nutrients from the ground, stupid. Wait, what? You don't understand science. <laughs> it would just eat floor? Yeah. I, I had a similar thing. I was talking to Michael Kiesa a couple days ago, and he thought... He mentioned it passive. He's like, oh yeah, you know when like, a baby's born when the sperm goes and eats the egg? <laughs> and I was like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean when the sperm eats the egg? I don't know, I don't know what that means. And he was like, you know, when the sp he thought the sperm like like took bites like Pac-Man instead of what was over. He just like ate it and like, gr a baby grew out of the sperm's stomach or something. Was he fucking around? No, he was dead serious. Because he, cause he saw the little videos of the thing swimming into it. He thought he was eating it like Pac-Man. That's why I had to cut that guy off. I mean. No, I cut him off. I blocked him off everything. Destroy Esmeralda, let me pour boiling water on her face. That would have been a better ending if he just deformed her left. <laughs> he turns her into Quasimodo. Oh, and he left. That would be a happy ending for Quasimodo. Yeah, be, it'd be and, like and, Shrek. And, and then the moral is, well, she can't really bitch that she's ugly because she was telling Quasimodo. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that, that would have been a better thing. She like He like throws acid on her face. <laughs> Let's spend $4 million reanimating in the last like 30 minutes. Can you please talk to these guys, please? Now, please. Please. No, please. <laughs> no go back. I just want to talk. I just would listen. Go back, go back, Lowe. Go back, go back. I don't want to have to do something I regret to you guys. Just please. Lo, go, go watch that next to Luigi. Okay, let the camera st come to a still. Yeah. Now, zoom in on those guys. Put me in one, you in the other, and Zach in the other. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank cool. you. Neat. I think we should put those on Trump's wall. What, those guys shoot, those demons shooting arrows? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. Uh, nobody would cross. If you saw fucking, like, if I saw hooded if you fucking, saw hooded fucking <laughs> cloak figure shooting arrows. Zach, can, can you imagine if you made, like, uh, <laughs> like some kind of thing to wear under your hood on your head so that your head seemed, like, twice as long? 
and you put two little LEDs at the top that look like glowing red eyes. You're saying like a Jim Henson puppet? Yeah. Like Big Bird? Like your head, your eyes are above your head? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, you got your hand feeding up through it? It's like the Jawas in Star Wars. They got the little <laughs> red LED eyes. Why don't more people wear hoods in like the forest and stuff? Yeah, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> To like, you know, intimidate people so they don't bother you. Like, why can't we just have more people that wear hoods to intimidate people? If I saw that in the woods, I would not, absolutely not bother that person. No, 100% though. And you could wear Bluetooth speakers under your hood I'll and be make right, it be really loud and scary. I kind of think one of the biggest problems in this country, in fact, is people running around in the woods just willing to bother other people that they encounter within. You, you would prefer they don't bother people? Yeah, I would prefer being unbothered. That's why people call you just like a SJW libtard, so. Yeah. Well, you know what? They got me. <laughs> but if it means my woods are safe, then I'm I'm happy with it. You, I, what the fuck was off. the last time you stood in the woods, Lyle? <laughs> you don't know what I do <laughs> with my life. Dude, that water on the ground really blew me away. Do you want me to try to get the fish into it yeah. instead of murdering it? Yeah. It'll probably die anyway, but... Do it, do it. <laughs> well, it got into the water. Yeah. It's about as good as I can do. <laughs> Lyle Singh, blow me away for the Halo 2 soundtrack. Shut up, you know! Here, take it out! Show me the way! Only the strongest will survive! Leave me to heaven! Let me die! I am a shadow of a boy! Whatever happened to Hoobastank? Are they still around? Not that I really care, but... That seems like it would be a band that either doesn't exist anymore or is playing county fairs or something. Yeah, you know what was weird about that song was the common folk enjoyed it. Did they? Yeah, even my friend Jack knew about it. Wait, was that Hoobastank? No. No, that was Breaking Benjamin. Breaking what am I bad. talking about? What would you do if- Oh my god! What would you do if in the last episode of Breaking Bad, when the camera was zooming up, it started playing Blow Me Away? <laughs> By who? By Breaking Benjamin. From the Halo 2 soundtrack. I'm not any of that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the most ill-fitted song for the final shot in Breaking Bad, Zach? Uh... And it won't flush down. <laughs> yeah, that crazy frog, maybe? <laughs> The ding 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 That would be fucking- can someone edit that please? What's going on? It actually does make sense in the context of the show. Better than- better than uh, Baby Blue. What about By Bad Finger. Do you hear the people sing? Do you hear the people- Do you hear the people sing? Will you join in a crusade or will we throw in faith with me? It's like Kara and Meg. Beyond the barricade is there a world we long to see? It's 10,000 people marching behind him in the street. <laughs> That's the entire Channel Awesome marching up to Doug's fucking new, new it's building. It's like when Mussolini marched on uh, Italy, on uh, the capital of Italy. <laughs> can you imagine all of Channel Awesome standing outside Doug's building singing that? I can imagine Lee Kara marching down Washington, D.C. with 30,000 people <laughs> singing that and taking over just becoming the new, the new Prezzo. Oh, fuck yes. The fucking Prezzo. The first fedora president. <laughs> it's time. I think JFK wore a fedora. No, nah, I've never seen him wear a fedora. And oh, he wore a fedora because he was a gangster, right? I like to wear fedoras. Is that confirmed that he was a gangster? Or is uh, that just like... I don't know, I don't did, know Did someone that. tell me that and I just don't know what's going on? I mean, there's a, there's definitely accusations that he had ties to the Mafia. There's accusations that oh. that Lyndon Johnson, being his VP, uh, his like stole, stole yeah. votes in, in Illinois and Texas to push the vote. People think of JFK as like this, this really popular guy, and he was when he was president, but he barely won the presidency over Nixon. <sighs> like, he only won by a couple thousand votes. One of the funniest jokes I ever heard. Was someone called him Gay F Spray? I think it was LBJ. <laughs> <laughs> Elton J called him Gay F Spray. LBJ said that Ramsey died. Oh, they thought you meant Elton John for some yeah, reason. Elton, <laughs> Elton John. He gets on his piano just to write a song about JFK. <laughs> make, write, yeah, write a song making fun of JFK. You heard about Elton John and uh, Freddie Mercury, though, right? What? what? They both admitted they, they're not gay. They just do it for attention. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, Freddie Mercury said it like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he came out with it. <laughs> he admitted it. Everyone knew it. Whatever, dude. It was an open secret. And it won't flush, flush down. down. What, what the, the hell, Lyle? There's only wheels there. That's absolutely bonkers. It's ridiculous, even. What the oh my what just god. Happened? You made it. 
I use the power of imagination. Maybe try it sometime. Like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, Chalk Zone. Yeah, exactly like Chalk Zone. Chalk, 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 to chalk, to chalk. That's the whole theme song. Chalk, 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 chalk. I'm a sovereign citizen. I don't believe in IP law, so check this out. Have you ever seen those people in court argue with the judge? And they're like, I am not a citizen. I am a sovereign citizen. Look at the Constitution. I've never seen them in court. I've only seen them getting arrested and, like, screaming about the Articles of Confederation and shit. There's one, there was one... <laughs> Where there was a guy in court trying to talk to the judge, he got like a speedy ticket or didn't- It was a very mundane thing he was in court for. But he kept like not coming to court for previous things he'd done. And he was trying to do like a Jedi mind trick on the judge and he was like trying to do pretzel logic where he was like, Ah <laughs> uh, yes, he's like, he, it was like literally the logic was something like, Yes, my name is John Smith, but I- I am not John Smith the individual- I am John Smith the individual, not John Smith the citizen. Oh. He was some- he was like literally, he's like, I- yes, I am this man. But I'm also not this man who is a citizen. He was like trying to d break himself up into three different entities. <laughs> and the judge, I mean, he got, he ended up getting penalized, obviously, but, uh. He's trying to fucking Kingdom Hearts himself into a He was, trying, yeah, he was to... trying to do like a riddle to hurt the, 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 the judge's brain. If I was a judge and that happened, I'd just give him the death penalty. I would I would give two of his personas the death penalty and the other one a fine. Immediately killed by firing <laughs> squad, have people run yeah. and just start shooting him. Aww. Shut up, Yuigi. Shut up. It's <laughs> <That's> good commentary. <laughs> Shut up, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> also, look at all this guy's fans are completely fake, just like ours, you fake fans. How oh, come bots. you're not those are all bots? How come you're not liking our videos? Well I ran Oni Play's channel. It's funny you mentioned that. I ran it through a bot checker. We have ninety five percent Russian bots as viewers. Most of our viewers are not we have like a thousand people watching this. That explains a lot. Yeah. All the numbers are fixed. None of these guys are hitting the bell, and it's frankly infuriating yeah. me. I freaking hate it. You know what I freaking hate more than freaking anything in What's the that? freaking world? What's that? When you go on a YouTube channel, and they're, they, they, like, they've got millions of views, but they're clearly botted, and YouTube doesn't penalize them because those people still make YouTube money. Yeah. Oh, you see, when they have, like, a, the video has, like, a, like, a hundred comments, but it's got, like, five million views? Yeah, like, it's yeah. such fucking horseshit. And YouTube, of course, will never, ever penalize them for that because it makes YouTube money. I absolutely hate videos that open up with somebody telling you to, like, hit the bell. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know if you've entertained me yet. <laughs> yeah, they should do that at the end, maybe. Alright, you motherfucker, let's go. You guys go. have seen Thanos beatboxing, right? Ah! Thanos beatboxing? <laughs> yeah. No, what is that? Uh... There's a guy on YouTube who makes, uh, like, Mario vs. Sonic beatbox battle! <laughs> but he did one of, like, Thanos vs. Darkseid! And Thanos starts beatboxing, and he puts his hands up right in the camera and starts going... Does it look like it's right from the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Put it here. <laughs> Holy fuck, that does look real. That's exactly <laughs> like it. Is that, wow. actually, that could be from Endgame. It's the funniest fucking thing I ever saw in my life. Alright, this man is wee and frail now. I can kill him. Again. Wee! Uh, you're the king of getting sucked off! Uh. You know what, Lyle? Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna of knock a point off this game. Oh yeah? Why? What's that? Because when he does that slam move, there's no frame blending, so... He just kind of snaps. To signify his mental state, he's seeing ghosts of his past. Don't care. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm the YouTube critic now. Like, I will review games. I've got a pretty good opinion. Well, you are definitely the guy reviewer on the internet. Yeah, I always thought so. Yeah. Like, I'm uh, kind of known for my great opinions, so. <laughs> you, we walked in today and you said, I am critic, I am mighty. People love Bow hearing about me. how I hate everything, so. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing, there's nothing the audience loves more than hearing about what we hate. Yeah. <laughs> pure negativity. Most people, yeah, most people, you know, get off work and they, they try to kick their shoes up and relax and they just love to hear about us uh, bitching. I was like, oh, they're playing my favorite game. I wonder what they think of it. Fuck it sucks! <laughs> we hate it! I'm just kidding, you guys. We this like game Luigi. is awesome so yeah, far. Yeah, look, look. I Luigi, like it. Yeah, me too. I mean, Lyle hates it more than me, but I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the ADL classified as a hate someone blew that up. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to a real-life psychic before? No. Would you want to go? I mean, I guess. 
sure if it I'm was not, like... I'm not even kidding, by the way. I went a couple days ago, and the woman was crazy. Did you actually go to one? Yeah, Adam, Michael, and I went. We literally found the worst rated one in all of Burbank. <laughs> And she was fuck literally, so we went in and, like, the door was open the whole time, and it was like, there was cars driving by. And, uh, the lady, I, I was the subject, because we were debating, like, I was like, I, 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 I can just imagine you sitting there with a big smile I on your head. I was trying not to so hard. And, uh, and the woman was like, you have a fun, she put her hand on my head, she goes, you have a demon attached to you. <laughs> she, basically, she was saying there was a demon attached to me, floating around me. And I lied, she was like, I just lied about my life, she just followed all of it, and, um, Of course. And, and, <laughs> yeah, it's not real, but then, she, uh, she, she was saying stuff, we tried to convince her Mothman was real, she was, like, so Michael yeah. was like, Michael was like, yeah, you said something bad happened, we, we went into West Virginia, and I was like, yeah, some evil orb flew into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and, she, and, and Adam goes, Adam goes, yeah, I don't, I didn't believe you about that. She, the woman goes, no, it's real, it's real. <laughs> Anyways, we should all go to a Shay Psychic and record it. Dude, that'd be good. That's a great idea. Also, this grass looks fucking beautiful. It does. I was just gonna say, it looks beautiful. I can show you the world. I can show you the world. You've seen that one guy, right? <laughs> yeah. I can show you the world. That guy's my hero. He's awesome. What Are is those he? gold dude bats right there? Yeah. That's amazing. They explode into money. Hey, shitty artist listening right now. Stuff in the foreground, just make it dark. Now you're a good artist. Hey, artist right now, draw your city while you're listening to this on either monitor. Stop what you're doing. Pull your shirt up. And then pull it back down and get back to work. Yeah, man. look at your fucking yeah. rancid <laughs> fucking... Look at what you've done to your god-given body. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, artist. Your mashed just... potato little titty sick hanging down. Because guess what? I only know that Go ahead and get some sun, holy shit. <laughs> oh! You actually did make someone frown right there, Chris. <laughs> I made myself frown, it's based on me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love bullying. I yeah. love gold. Get it for your job. <laughs> <laughs> your, your mother was gold. right. I love gold. You see, Mr. Powers, I love gold. <laughs> <laughs> Gold member picks off his fucking neck skin and he eats it. I love gold. Did you guys see the new Star Wars on Disney Plus? What they did to the what they did to Han Solo? No. That Han Solo Greedo scene? No. What? Oh, he, he goes. McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. They fucking. They fucking. You know the hot who shot first what? thing? They fucked with it again. Yes. Dude, it's the most psychotic edit I've ever seen anything. <laughs> Literally. So, so they have Greedo's little subtitles, and it's like, it's like whatever Han Solo's gonna shoot. And then they have they shoot the exact same time, but right before right before either of them shoots, Han Solo is like says like, "You're no good. You're no good, Greedo." And, he cuts to Greedo and goes, Mark Lunky. Yeah. And it sounds brand new, the voice is completely different, and there's no subtitles. Mark Lunky. So it's not even like they added context to a thing. <laughs> he didn't even say, like, I'm gonna kill you. He just goes, Mark Lunky. Yeah, and, Mark Lunky. and then they shoot each other. <laughs> it's the most pointless thing. It's like, he's. How does he do it? How does he get away with it? Does the, the, Han Solo's head still uh, comedically. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I think so. I, I think also, they should. Also, does he still own the rights to that? No, so the, it's even funny what happened. So that edit, even though it just came out, that edit was done like seven years ago. Oh my God. So I guess George Lucas made that edit when he still had that movie and put it on the shelf. And nobody bothered to look. I think they just kind of blindly put it on Disney Plus. McClunky. McClunky. <laughs> I love McClunky. I like the idea that George Lucas like wakes up in a cold sweat thinking about that scene. But and McClunky. Yeah. Well, that that <laughs> scene in particular where he's just like, I gotta redo it. I gotta fix it. But no. the funniest thing is like if they, if they added that part and then they had like subtitles, say like context, like I'm gonna get you or something. It would have made sense, but there's no subtitles. I still don't understand why don't Disney haven't have released uh, de-edited versions, like the original theatric releases of those movies yet. Have they really not? No, it's <laughs> no. like it's like a fucking running gag. It's I don't understand it. If they did it, if they released the original original thing in theaters, people would go see it. I guarantee it. I wonder if George Lucas has something like signed, like a stipulation that they can't do that or something. I wouldn't shit. be surprised if we put that in. He's a funny little man, isn't he? He Hello. really is. He bi he keeps it under his bed. He goes, <laughs> they're not allowed to have it. He keeps the original cuts in his pelican throat. Well, yeah, he opens it up when he pulls it out. <laughs> pulls out the original film reel and goes, I will never let you get <laughs> found. <laughs> what are you doing? Go, don't get, don't go in there. Don't go in there. That's my throat. That's my throat. You're not supposed to be inside there. Get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, you slippery little fucking shit. 
<laughs> I like that sound effect a lot. I would hate to buy property and have this happen to it. This looks like a choice. Uh, this looks like a mistake. Can you ever cash it? I'm getting stressed out. Your money keeps building up, but you do you ever cash that in? Uh, you got like 13 buy, grand right there. Yeah, you can buy things from Professor Pinhead, but I don't know if uh. I don't know if they do anything. I know there's a thing that helps you find jewels. I haven't figured out what the jewels do yet. I collected all of them on a floor one time go, on, get, on my own time. You got and 13 I... gold inside your... You got 13 gold? Go buy something with that. <laughs> I love, uh... Gold? Fat bastard. He's fat, a good character. Kind of a genius concept, a big fat bastard. Is they, fat bastard really is the stupidest... Name for a character. It's, it's like a awesome. thesis statement on the character, though. I can't believe nobody ever called the character Fat Bastard before Austin Powers. <laughs> that's that's, much, that's such an obvious little combination of It's words. almost on the level of Pizza the Hut, but it <laughs> yeah. just works somehow. It's somehow, it just barely skids by. Fat Bastard really is a funny little, uh... <laughs> the Golden Rat, there you go. Well, I'll spend that money just to get it out of the corner for fuck's it's sake. It's driving me bananas. Is, <laughs> is that, it actually bothering you guys? It's getting so high. It's like you're gonna have a hundred thousand dollars. Just spend it on something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are being clever with your money, but like the fuck that. A financial planner would side with me on this. I guarantee it. Wait for a recession. Put that into it. Put that into the S and P five hundred and watch your money grow. <laughs> for fuck's sake! Come on, Lyle. I mean, isn't it obvious? Yeah. Ew! <laughs> Why'd that bother you so much? Cause it looks like Duty Feces fall through. <laughs> He's just a little green man with a little green plan. No, I'm pretty sure it looked like Duty Feces. Aw, uh, a little green plan. Also, I love this area. This is beautiful. Yeah, the plant zone. I love petals. I love leaves. I always said that when I die, I want to be covered in petals and leaves <laughs> and yeah. thorns. That way no one can grab your body. I want people to put, like, a crown of thorns on my head. A crown... Can, you, can somebody Photoshop this? Photoshop Chris dead in the middle of the woods with, with leaves and... What did you say? A crown of thorns. And you know, a, like, bo a body vest of thorns. Like some kind of a druid. But a you were saying, saying uh, leaves and what else? Uh, leaves, petals, thorns, petals. thorns. Yep. Uh, also, give, give me socks made of thorns, underwear made of thorns. Uh, hmm. Glasses made of thorns. A mustache sweet, made of thorns. Sweet satchel made of thorns. A sweet satchel full of gold made of thorns. <laughs> One of those like carrier bags made out of thorns. And put two little stones on on my eyes to hide my like open eyes because I'm to, dead. To, to hide his haughty expression. And draw a little uh, the Game of Thrones open eyes on him. Is that too much to ask? Put thorns yeah. on the eyes too. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, That's pineapple! <laughs> Dude, that is me running away from a pineapple pizza. I <laughs> got him. God, what a fucking is very that scary. Really is, ah, that whoa, really is, that like impaled Luigi and fucking <laughs> took him into a wall. That, that stupid fucking pineapple pizza thing really is just a stupid fucking trend. That, pineapple on pizza is so disgusting. I don't even like it, but it's just like, shut up, you read that somewhere. People put fish on pizza. People, People put anything on pizza. So, somebody read that somewhere. They saw it on Reddit or Twitter. It's, a, it's pineapple in Pixar's pizza. shitty Inside Out movie, too. It's, a, it's just, it's fucking, nobody really, but if you put somebody in a blank room, in a white room, and they never saw that joke anywhere, and you put a pineapple, they go, okay. I think I we already talked about it too, but the I don't want it. I don't want a pineapple backpacks pizza. Backpacks are now like out of like it, it's very untrendy to wear backpacks now. People, Is it? Backpacks? people, will, yeah, people will make serious fun of you for wearing a backpack. Backpacks? If, if you're a grown man, I mean, they're like, yeah, you, what are you, a f school kid? It's like, uh, carry. Wait, wait, when did this happen? No, this is like a thing. Like, really? Yeah, people are like. Wow, look at you wearing your backpack. And there's people like going on like buses, taking pictures of dudes wearing backpacks, being like, What? Look, look at this idiot wearing a backpack. I, I can't tell if this is no, like. No, this a, is real. This I is swear. real. I this swear. Is... There's people that are. If they, if they see you carrying things. In a bag. They, in a, what do they a... want you to do? Wear a fucking. Like bring a suitcase with you? This is these ugly. <laughs> bitches! Oh my god. Well, let me wear a backpack. Carry around my f Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Magic the Gathering cards and, and <laughs> dude, you just gotta fucking duel them. Next time they talk shit about your backpack, say it's time to duel. One of the coolest moves ever is when you throw a fucking card into a girl's eye and slice her pupil open. Cut yeah. her fucking head in half. You throw it like Gambit. <laughs> yes. But can you fucking believe that? I that, no, I literally don't. I've never seen this. Uh, people, are, I, I I believe it. I believe I've, it's, it's probably just a weird like. 
Listen, I've seen people yeah, like yeah, running I, 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 around I, I, with fanny packs. I don't fanny packs are yeah, they look silly, but a backpack is a thing you fucking. It's just practical, also. You're that having to hold it with your arm. Backpacks must have existed for thousands of years. I don't. Know. Yeah. Along with the domestication of the dog, ancient man <laughs> used backpacks. And Velcro sneakers, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sick ass Velcro. Sick ass Velcro sneakers and backpacks have been around for like 10,000 years. Yeah, sneakers that light up and shit. Yeah, like wheelies and stuff, too. But yeah, it, Velcro's a space invention, isn't it? Is it? They're like, we I, would, I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, I think so. We may have already talked about it before, but do you ever see that stupid anecdote that's like, you know, the, the, the United States spent like $5 million in 10 years developing... Oh, yeah, the pencil thing? To, to, yeah. to develop a pen in space. Uh, for, so, so... Erm, um, you could have used a pencil? Yeah, no, then the, yeah, it's like, so, the, yeah, it's like, it's like Americans spent like this much money, this much time developing a, a super unique, special anti-gravity pen that could... And it was like, and the Soviets just use a pencil, huh? And it's like, uh, the reason I didn't use a pencil is because the fucking graphite will... fucking yeah. snapped off and floated around the space station yeah. and got caught in the equipment. Yeah. I love that kind of shit. Erm, um, I'm smarter than yeah, fucking NASA. Yeah, 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 some 15-year-old beat NASA to it. Nobody at NASA figured to use a pencil. <laughs> you got him. Yeah, if you want to see smart, NASA spent all this money trying to go to space. I've never gone to space, and you know what? They could have just not have done to. it. You yeah. want to see smart? Subscribe to Spirit Science's YouTube channel. <laughs> you want to hear about 15-foot-tall Egyptian pharaohs? You want to hear about fucking Thoth? You want to know about how Jews are aliens from the future that had to redo their own past because they never what, reached Christ it? consciousness? According Hebrews, coming from our future. Thoth says that they came from off-planet, but we don't know where exactly. You want to hear about the Atlanteans' war with the Martians? No, 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 it was the Jews versus the Martians, wasn't it? And no, according, I, according I, to Spirit I, Sides, I swear that they were at odds I, at some point. Or that the Jews were future... The, the Jews it, yeah, were the related Mar to the, the Martians. The Martians were mean to the Jews, but they also... Yeah, it was the Atlanteans and the Martians. That had a fight? Yeah, that had a fight. They are all mad. I had a girl that I grew up with that was literally reposting Spirit Science videos. I was like, what the I love that. fuck I love happened? That. What is wrong with the world? I actually think a lot of the people that like repost it don't even know what it is. Like they just no, think it's because, about no, because meditation a lot of the, and yeah, shit. Yeah, a lot of people that post share this stuff because the Spirit Science Facebook page is just about like eating fish oil pills and like B twelve. Yeah, it's like common health advice or like it's good to go on a hike and meditate. It's just, it's stuff that's not even wrong. But then you go to the website and they're talking about like yeah, Atlanteans versus Martians versus Jews. That's very <laughs> sneaky stuff. What, what's says, your favorite Wah. Pixar film from the last like ten years? Probably. Uh, 10 years. Hmm. Or like 15. Like after, after like Toy Story 2. Uh, uh, The Incredibles. Okay, after The Incredibles. After like 2005. After Disney bought them. Uh, hmm. What what else came out? Up. Wally. Wally's alright. Up. I. It's okay. I like the first half of Up. Yeah. I like Wally more than I like Up. I like. I like the. When Wally, Wally goes to the space station, I'm like, I'm bored now. It's a good idea though for a movie. It's a really good idea. Yeah. It just should have been like like two hours shorter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been a short. Yeah, that would have been a really good short. Cause like once you see the big fat blob people eating like uh, McDonald's, it's like okay, that's interesting. But that is a very cutting edge commentary. Cool. No, I mean they did. A, I think they did. It's kind of it is a little bit kind of like overdone, but I think they did a fine job with it. That's and they show, fine. And they show the captains getting fatter and stupider and uglier. That's funny. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's... Turning from like photorealistic men into cartoon fat asses. Yeah, they, they go from like like 1950s like men like men in suits to like big fucking blobs. Oh, I can't believe that thing blocked you. If it does that to me one more time, I'm calling somebody. I don't care. I'll spend the money. I have $14,000. You think I can't get a gardener in here? Dude, watch Finding Dory. It's a bona fide piece of shit. <laughs> I've, I've never seen it. Watch The Last Dinosaur. It's a bona fide I, I, piece of I shit. I did watch Finding Dory. It's like, uh, it doesn't it feels like an episode of a show. It doesn't feel like a movie. And I can't describe it any other way than that. It doesn't feel as big as the first movie. It's the most obnoxious shit. Also, Such watch Brave. It's so boring. Also, watch Toy Story 3. It's whatever. I, I can't even. Oh, I will, ne a lot of I will off never even watch Toy Story 4. It's just, just pissing a lot of people off. I don't give off. a shit. You're pissing so many people off. I'm so cool. I'm, I'm telling my opinion. I'm really cool. <laughs> Luigi's little green friend saved him from being killed by a plant. I like that. That's a metaphor for uh, everything. The Amazon forest needs to be cut down, guys. Please donate to Oni Plays. <laughs> get, get it out of here. 
Get it out of Guys, here. Guys, I want to go to the Amazon, but there's too many trees in the way. Can somebody please start a fundraiser so we can destroy all the trees in the Amazon? So I can just walk unobstructed, please. Yeah. No fucking monkeys, like, swinging around the trees and biting me and shit. No trees in the way. <laughs> There'll be vines in the way. Zach. I will say, you, you can see nature videos of, like, worms that, like, burrow into things or, like, turn water into mucus, and you're like, you know what? Maybe we could we could do with destroying some ecosystems every once in a while. You ever see, like, a, a worm in an apple? Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, that, get rid of all of this thing's habitat. Is that even real? Is that based on any fuck? Is that just bullshit? A worm eating an apple? That's I've like, never seen that. Yes, you have. I No, maybe the movie Ants, but not in real life. Okay, you're right. Have you ever really oh, seen it's like a, a roller coaster? What? Have you ever really seen a worm eat an apple? Yeah. Like take a bite out of it? Yeah. yeah. You're fucking lying. I saw it and then I learned. <laughs> That's what happens when you see that. You learn. You learn how to eat the apple. Yeah, you learn how to eat the apple, you learn how to read. That is the first right of being a human being. You're in your crib, your mom and dad throw a worm and an apple in. They say, you watch, watch the worm eat the apple, then you learn to eat the apple. Easy. And then you eat the worm. No. 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 So I no, you drink so the I did... worm later in life. Uh, no, you pick it into a million pieces and just leave, you look <laughs> you at the little legs off. you look at the little worm pieces and then you you contemplate what just happened. That's why worms don't have legs. Is you pick I them off them as a ch off. humans pick them off as children. It's a symbiotic relationship. Well, I can see you doing this in real life, man. Yeah, I I kind of would. Zach, I've asked this exact question before to someone else, but yeah, have you ever picked up a worm and it did a little stomach crunch towards your fingers? Yeah, definitely. Isn't that to... weird? They got little abs. Yeah, they're doing. Uh, uh, yeah, they're doing little uh, sit-ups. They're trying to. They're trying to like stomach crunch. Have, you, have you ever seen a Why? worm do a mason twist? No. Is that when they hold like a medicine ball and turn to the <laughs> side? That's where they lift their legs and go. Oh yeah. Touch the ground on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I love did the you world see, of Did worms. you see that rejected, uh... uh Don Hertzovitz rejected, yeah. No, did, yeah, did you see that? No. Are no. you talking about the fucking uh, the PETA, PETA thing? Yeah, did you see that? The, all the animals are fucking did kneeling? Did you see this, Chris? No. PETA, PETA tried to submit a Super Bowl ad with a bunch of animals. Like, it's literally like an animated thing, and it's a bunch of animals. Mm. And they're all doing, like, the Colin Kaepernick. They're all, like, kneeling. But it's like, there's, like, a snake kneeling, and it just happens, there's like... A, there's <laughs> fish. There's fish kneeling in the, in, the, in the like, the stream. There's, like, a snake kneeling. There's a bee. There's <laughs> Anything, like a, basically... It like, looks fucking so stupid. But it got, it got completely rejected. It's a rejected ad. Who would have rejected that? I don't know. It's a great idea. <laughs> so everybody wants to see on Super Bowl Sunday. He's Irish. Definitely. <laughs> Him planting a potato, an unkillable plant. How far are you in this game, Lyle? Do you know? Uh, like, I don't know. I, I'm, ca I'm catching up to where I, I've gotten to. This on game my is own. like seven hours too long, honestly. This game should have ended about five minutes in. Yeah, this is bullshit. Once I see a ghost, I'm kind of bored. Yeah, Luigi should have just left. Honestly, why did he just go home? He's just like sticking his nose in other people's business. Yeah, this is like that shit where it's like you you watch something like Paranormal Activity. And then they don't leave. <laughs> if I was in paranormal activity, I would I would leave. I mean, his friends are kidnapped and like put in the horror dimension and all that. But uh, he can still leave. Let's say you're in a hotel, right? Your friends and everyone go missing. What are you gonna do? Oh, you know what? I'll go into the hotel with a knife and try to kill. No, you go with to the police, knife. Luigi. With a knife. Yeah. Are we sure that police necessarily exist in the Mushroom Kingdom, though, or is it just Mario and his friends? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It is kind of weird that that's who has to save the fucking ruler of the whole kingdom. It's like a dude. Yeah, and like it, a, a portly dude. It's not. He, she doesn't have knights or anything. It's just a dude. Princess Peach. I I've said it once. I've said it a million times. She is a stupid. Uh -huh. And one of these days, she's gonna get what she deserves. My love and my kisses, you mean? I'm only kidding around. I know exactly what you're talking about. She's gonna get impeached. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous, man. Come on with that. <laughs> <laughs> She's not my fucking princess. Do you wanna, um... <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna fucking stop? <laughs> you know, we've been thinking about ghosts a lot. Because we're playing this terrible game with it's ghosts true. in it. I wouldn't say terrible, but go ahead. Yeah, it's it's horrible. I hate it. I mean, anyway, awful, awful, terrible, stupid game. Yes, yeah. it's a it's it's the worst game. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Would you rather move into a house that's a pretty nice house, mm -hmm. but it has a ghost that won't kill you, but is constantly trying to f with you, 
Or would you rather move back in with your parents? I would rather my mommy and daddy. Yeah. Because the ghost is trying to fuck with you. It seems more malicious than your mummy and daddy. That's exactly right, and also, you get breast milk and all that other stuff, that's free. And guess what else, Lyle? You get the sit on daddy's lap. He bounces, he bounces on your knee like that. <laughs> but guess what else? There's something you're, not, you're also forgetting. A ghost is fucking scary. It wouldn't be after you lived with it for a while. You'd just get used to it. You couldn't gel, you couldn't do sweet mason twists like a worm, you couldn't do anything. You could absolutely gel. What is a ghost gonna do if you're gelking? Watch you. Yeah. You, your mom doesn't watch you jelk. All right, man, you crossed the <laughs> I think a ghost in your house is essentially like having a hidden camera, though. Yeah, yeah, but it can't tell anybody. You don't know that. It can. I don't know the mechanics of the afterlife. Yeah, it really the, could tell somebody. The game mechanics of the ghost is he can he can watch you jelk, he can jelk beside you, and he can tell your friends. He can. And also, <laughs> I feel like you heard that movie Wild Wild West at the beginning, where the guy's head gets head cut up and they can check his memory like a video. Yeah. I feel like the ghost could do that too. You wouldn't give up jelking to not live with your parents. No. Wow. Okay. It's important. That's fair. It's pretty much all I have at this point. You were that period of time where you were in that weird mindset where you were solving Rubik's cubes every day and you kept referring to your mouth as the penis fly trap. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. What was up with that, man? I forgot to ask you about that. What, 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 what were you going through? You, no, kept, you, kept, you kept, well, you said about ten times per day, you said, this is a penis fly trap, and you'd laugh. And then one time you, like, got near my zipper, and you went, ah, 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 and I said, hey, buddy, relax. It's, it was a joke, dude. It was a joke. That time but I... then when you popped my red penis head into your mouth, and you actually started sucking and moaning, that didn't make no sense to me. That was the funniest part, dude. That, that makes you that gay. Good, that was a good punchline. It, it made you gay. It did make me gay, and I couldn't do it. I, I, and I had to go to a psychic witch, an evil, <laughs> evil California witch, to get it undone. <laughs> Undo your witch's hex. Oh, uh, damn. That... That looks profane. I would never go hey, in something that looks what? like that. We're the funny brothers. Uh, we make seven hundred thousand dollars a year. And on we've YouTube. copyrighted the term "penis flytrap." You guys ever see uh, inappropriate parents by the the Fine Brothers? Is that no. where they, was that where they show their parents fucking on hidden video? I'm not even gonna stop. I'm not, I don't want to talk <laughs> to you anymore. <laughs> no, it was when uh, the Fine Brothers were like, you know what? We're funny guys, right? It's true. And then Raphael Fine, he fucking aimed one eye at the door, and the other eye at his brother and was like, hmm. And then they decided, so they make original content that's not just kids and like old ladies reacting to shit. They yeah. made uh, Emo Dad. I've heard that, yeah. It was yeah, a that, fucking that was a, hoot. That was a 2D animated picture, right? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, then they made Inappropriate Parents, and. Was that also 2D? And was it also a hoot? It was it a hoot? No, okay, so this is the thing. This one was no nowhere near a hoot. I don't like it when the Fine Brothers make original content, okay? I just want them to make people react! Hey, Chris, I've got a question for you. What? What has roots as nobody sees, is taller than trees, up, up it goes, and yet it never grows. A mountain! Yeah, I actually didn't know what that was. That's from The Hobbit, you yeah, fucking I didn't know if you remember- I <laughs> I've seen The Hobbit and read the book, and I didn't remember what, remember what that fucking riddle was. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Gollum goes... <laughs> <laughs> Lyle, I'm gonna read wait, it to you. Gollum yeah. solves the riddle? Yeah, he's a fucking genius. He wait, loves wait, riddles. Wait, 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 Lyle, Lyle. You have to answer this one. 30 white horses on a red hill. First they champ, then they stamp, then they stand still. The horse's name is Champ. No, it's Got Teeth. It. It, what? That's right, idiot. <laughs> Please Wait, explain. What? what? <laughs> Read that one to me again. Yeah, I will gladly. Thirty white <laughs> horses on a red hill. So thirty teeth. You have red gums. First they champ. I don't know what that means. Actually, th that's weird. Then they stamp. I still don't know what that means. Then they stand still. That's the worst riddle I've ever <laughs> that's heard not in even my life. A riddle. That's just I've called teeth horses. Yeah, that's uh, complete okay, horseshit. Okay, 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 okay. This was better. This was better. Actually, Chris, read that top one in Gum's voice. The top one. Uh, the top one. Voiceless he cries, wingless flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters. <laughs> oh, what is that? I couldn't even really understand what he it's said. Not the right answer. Okay, okay, this is Gollum's new voice. <laughs> Voiceless it cries, wingless flutters. What is that? Toothless the, bites. I don't know. The wind fucking. Oh, yes! yes! Is it real? Yeah! Uh, How come, like, all the time, it, you can guess the wind to, like, 90% of these stupid fucking riddles, and it's right? Don't you fucking denigrate Gollum's riddle, bro. <laughs> he spent three weeks on that workshopping that. <laughs> fucking stupid. You know what's really weird about, uh, Gollum's transformation? 
What? Okay, so if you watch the start of Return of the King, you know the way Gollum looks pretty much just like Andy Serkis, but like, on heroin for 400 years? Yeah. So... Andy Serkis starts off as, uh, Smeagol. The, the, like, weird hob- he's like a half-hobbit or some shit, right? Right. And you remember what he looks like at the start of the third movie, right? Yeah. He's just Andy Serkis, right? Yeah, yeah, he's just- but he kills his brother with a rock, right? Yeah, you would think that the in-between phase of Andy Serkis and Gollum would just be like- But the, you're saying the middle thing looks nothing like either of them? Looks literally nothing like either of them. He's it's like- It's a new guy, it's because they put prosthetics on him, right? Yeah, like, the, the, there, there's a scene where he crawls towards the camera and he looks around, and it, he's just like a green toad. It's like, how is that- <laughs> how is that the in-between phase? <laughs> He says green toad, I think, when he walks into the camera, too. In the book, I think he is described as, like, a toad. Well, you've heard the, uh, I think this is a Ralph Beshke one, right? Where it's like, he's like, <laughs> yes. He's like, like that. Ooh, precious. Yeah, yes, he's, like, precious. brown. He, he, he's, like, a frog. Yeah. That is a cool version of that thing. Do you think there's one really beautiful babe out there that's just super hot for Gollum for some reason? Probably. I, absolutely. There are people that want to kiss and hug the uh, Columbine characters and also Ted Bundy and so on. <laughs> the Columbine characters? Yeah, there's a bunch of women that want to... Okay, well, wait, Lyle. Wait, wait, wait. Bottom left of the screen. Yes. Yep. There's no grass at the bottom. That is pissing me off. Lyle, why did you make this game? That is... Oh, it just cuts... Oh, that is such lazy... Laziness. Well, you call this your first game? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I gotta go back to uh, Unreal Engine and put Mario in there. Someone make a 3D rig of Lyle and put bendy bones all over him. Make me run around in an open field. That's what I want. Yes! Unreal! Yeah, I love those demos. It's like, somebody hire this guy. Nintendo, why is this guy not hired? Oh, he's doing Home Alone. Whoa. This is like his weird Chris Chan room. He's got this Lego. I got Lego, I got a helicopter, I got lights. This is my Mega Machines helicopter. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually sick of you guys making fun of that poor soul, so just I stop. agree, that is a tortured soul. I'm covered in centipedes. <laughs> That's his catchphrase. <laughs> Get all that I'm covered there. in centipedes. I'm covered in centipedes. They're biting, they're squeezing, they're crawling, they're entering my body. Pick off legs one by one is what I always say. There's a hundred of them, so it will keep you quite busy for some time. <laughs> Ew, look at that gorilla. Gorilla. If you are a girl, please Go consider buying a Transformers. A and picking the legs off of a centipede. <laughs> now this is an investment I can get behind. A helicopter. I want helicopter. That doesn't happen Whoa. anymore. I miss that feeling. You when you see a helicopter on television, no, you would put your cheek up to a TV and you he's feel going aesthetic. into the TV. Yes. Woo! It's just like that movie always... with uh, with Lois from uh, Family Guy. Dude, there no, used to be movie? so many things where a character Pleasant would Bill. jump into a TV or jump out of a TV. I miss things coming through the TV. I'm really disappointed right now, actually. You, you see I thought before. he was going to be like in a TV level. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like Mario 64. Reason. And then the comments say, what the fuck did you expect from a TV level? TVs can show literally anything. I just wanted to see a static filter on top of everything, okay? He could have been running through an actual inside of a TV, like, you remember what Bjork described was inside of a TV? She's like, Microchip. It, it is like a little shitty. He could, have, he could have ran around a real-life TV. That's the big ghost boss. He gets stuck in the TV, and then Bjork picks it up and starts whispering Look, at it. people make fun of the Bjork stalker a lot, but, like... <laughs> get, get guys, get, lay off Like, him. Bjork is beautiful. You do know that, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't, like, follow her places. Yes, you would, though! Yeah, he's right, Lyle. Like, anybody, any guy would! <laughs> Lyle, you've actually never uh, been so wrong on nothing. Lyle, acoustic foam in a Mario game, can you f believe it? I can't. If Luigi screams in this room, it's What the fuck is perfect. that on screen? Look at it go! <laughs> it's Look, dancing. it's coming right for me! It's dancing. No, 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 no! Uh-oh. This is like, uh, it's... I like that. That's fun. It was yeah, more it was scared fun. to come out of the TV than I was of it popping out of- Will you fucking lay off? Stop! Wow, why buy acoustic foam when you can nail a fucking Amazon blanket to the wall? You can nail a bunch of ghosts to the wall. Okay. And they will eat your screams. You ever go outside when it's snowing and talk and, like, the snow is acoustic foam, essentially, and it's really cool? The I haven't snow? seen snow in, like, five years. If you get really heavy snow and you go outside, it is, like, yeah, it is. silent. Yeah, it dampens it, yeah. It's, it's really eerie. I kind of miss blizzards in Philly. Like, well, for the first two days, and then it gets yeah, fucking old. Yeah, that's how snow that's always is. It snows, and you're like, wow, it looks amazing outside. And then people fuck big cars drive by at a thousand miles an hour, and it turns brown and slushy. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> freezing their tits off right now as we, in 80-degree weather, are yeah, like, I man, I really miss blizzards. I know, I know. Morty. Director of the okay. finest films? <laughs> okay, guys. Don't say it. We're, we're, put a little, put a little in front of the Morty. Don't say it. 
<laughs> Dude, put two pickle ricks in that gorilla's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. What gorilla? In the background. There, oh, see? There you go. It's Pickle Rick. <laughs> Can I steal these from you? If the editor doesn't blur it to suit the depth of field, I'm gonna be really mad. I'm gonna f I'm gonna hunt them down and fucking put a wire behind their neck and choke them. That looks like my uncle. This is your uncle crying because you haven't called him in five years. Pretty much. <laughs> is that the salt? Should I say that the salt? <laughs> Beep it out. Yes. That doesn't look like a fucking an anatomically correct gorilla at all. Well then, why don't you make one? I think one? it's a yeti, I already dude. Did it, dude. I there think that's it seriously is. a yeti. That's not a Yeti. Not Yeti, at least. Are you sure? Look at that! That's fucking... That's the shit you put in boxes. Can I jump into these TVs? Yes, you dumb shit. You dumb yeah. fucking yeah. asshole, you fucking idiot. Do you guys want to, like, uh, expand the Let's Play Empire? Or do you want to just keep it simple? What do you mean, expand I want this the to Empire? Be, yeah, I want this to be a friggin' Empire. Yeah, do I want this to be, like, early Rome. Do we get a community manager? We yeah. should get plumbing. Let's pay some guy $400,000 a year to make bad financial decisions for us. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Immediately. What did going in here do? Let's it's hire really... way too many people. Let's hire. That literally is the typical LA thing. It's like you you come to LA and then people convince you you have to have a manager, a lawyer, an agent, a fuck. Like you have fifty people around you sucking off all this money and they do nothing. They do shit you could do. Oh, Luigi's wait. Okay, he's being recorded now. Oh, it looks like you're really there in a the city now. It looks like you're in the seat of cats. Can you blue screen <laughs> out the blue and put in a? Uh... A city behind there? That's actually literally what this is for. Can you green screen no. out the blue and put the Bjork stalker back there? Put the Bjork stalker oh. blowing its fucking oh. chunks all over the- <laughs> He did though, he tried to, he wished he could've. Oh. Yeah, nary a chunk came out. That's what the autopsy report said. Nary a chunk came out. Nary a chunk. He suffered yeah. a completely chunkless death. What a rube. One of the damages. Well, it looks like a chunkless death. <laughs> At least it was chunkless. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That chair is dead now. Let's oh do a Mario god. roleplay. Alright, I'll be... I'll you be, be... You be Toad. Okay. I'll be Luigi. Yep. Lyle be Mario. Lyle, you start. You're you're the smart one. What? Since when? <laughs> That's what Mario says. <laughs> Since when? Okay, now let's start. What's the, what's the situation? Uh, Mario and Luigi have gotten themselves into some financial trouble after buying a bunch of gold. Um, alright. I checked at Wells Fargo. I talked to a financial advisor. <laughs> we're done. We're cleaned out. Can't we just sell the fucking no. gold? No, because, no, because oh, Luigi. We're, we're doing these Mario's. It's a stone, Luigi. It's a football. This is the scariest. Can't we just sell this a fucking gold? No, you buy Luigi. low and you sell high, Luigi. 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 Gold peaked in 2011. You couldn't have invested in the fucking Bitcoin. Luigi, you know that that internet is all junk crap, you Luigi. You stupid mother! If you had have just paid attention to our financial instructor. Why is he a fucking mob boss? <laughs> <he's> <laughs> no, because he, he started to doing. Do he's do he's <laughs> My name is Mario. I come from the mushroom. You dance, motherfucker. You don't fucking listen when I speak. Also, Luigi's making little films about Lugrini now in his spare time in his bedroom. This is just absolutely. <laughs> it's a nice little hobby. It's if adorable, you, it's a little short film. If you had a perfectly green clone of yourself, you wouldn't make movies about it? I'd probably just try to paint him pink and just hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are trying to put out this fire and Lugrini is here to stop them. You see there was a guy who had plastic surgery to look like a tiger? Really? A tiger? Yeah, and he killed himself when he looked like a tiger. <laughs> what? Because he looked too much like a tiger? Yeah. Or did he die getting the surgery? No, he killed himself. He's like, I'm an idiot! And he killed himself. <laughs> the human brain evolved to... 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 Not look like a tiger? That's exactly... No, to, to like what the human face looks like, even if you hate your own face. Like, what I'm saying is an alien would, would see a human and be fucking repulsed by it. Maybe. So, so, of course, if you change your face to look like a different animal, that would fuck... that would, like... That drive you insane. Possibly. It, it, apparently, it, he even had a, like an electronic tail that he would attach to his ass. Electronic tail. That would just like flick around like a tiger's tail. By itself. Yeah. Was it connected to his skin? I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. But uh, all I know is he killed himself. Well, that guy seems so mentally ill that he's looking. That, that guy's just poor guy got a got a bad stack from birth probably. Yeah. His brain chemicals were so out of whack that he thought he should look like a tiger. I don't think that guy ever really had a chance.
But yeah, you ever see those people that fucking, uh, oh, they, they yeah. try to get facial reconstructive Ooh. surgery to look like a celebrity, and then they never look like the celebrity that they're trying to resemble? Like, th there was that guy, he wanted to look like Justin Bieber, and he looked nothing like Justin Bieber. Yeah, there was a dude that got a bunch of facial surgery because he wanted to look like Squall from Final <laughs> Fantasy VIII. Yes. And he looks absolutely not. he just, he looks like a different guy, like he doesn't look hideous, but he... He doesn't look anything like what he was going for. And then he started dyeing his hair blonde, which wouldn't that defeat the whole purpose? Mm hmm I don't know. I, I don't know if I did that right or not. Are you playing the kazoo? I was yeah, I was trying to play uh, My Way by Frank Sinatra. Wait, how you play it? All I know is... Okay, here's a trick. Yeah. The top of the kazoo. Uh? If you breathe in that part, it sounds like a muted trumpet, so you can go... See? <laughs> Yeah. See? Also, <laughs> this is a really cool guitar riff. I'm Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. He does sound exactly like that. Bring me the girl. I'm gonna kiss her. I'm gonna kiss her off so good. I'm gonna fucking kill her. I don't know. I've started doing no People have closed off the video ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, let's stop. Yeah. There's a distorted ear grating charm to it all. <laughs> Fucking, I, I, Luigi's making baffling films about his little green He's friend. making baffling decisions, dude. With baffling. His, with his money and life. This what is, a, this is all Luigi's creative vision right here. Luigi wants this to happen and it is so. I want to go back in time, like, in no clips through, like, the history and just look at big battles happening where, like, Genghis Khan runs in and thumbs out, like, a villager woman's eyes. Just for a little bit of fun. You know? I really do think that would change your perspective on reality if you could go back and see how fucking evil this world was, this planet. I am I doing this right? Evil? Going, you know, look, the highlighted ones were the ones you completed. So that move. Wait, yeah. hold on. Before we get on this, that movie was just Lou Greeny running around while arrows were shot at him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was the it's, creative it, vision I was to wait, fulfill. Wait, wait, wait. That follows the classic three X structure. Have you been to film school, <laughs> Loyal? Well, you I don't get character development, Loyal. character arcs, Loyal, that was motivations. Arc, Loyal. It was it was real deep. I just yeah. You're lucky. Look at those. Look at those rip off. Look at those rip-off trees! Damn. Look at that! That is, that is beautiful. That's good. That's Finally, great. a good fucking game, dude. Are you zooming in on him? Yeah. Is that you really doing that? Yeah. No, you're not. Zoom out. You're liar, liar. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, he's fucking liar, liar, liar. Luigi's Lance doing. liar. Oh shit! I can't even see your face. I don't even know what's going on. Can what you the... please? Uh. It's Elvis. He didn't die on the toilet all those years ago. This sucks. I actually don't know what he's <laughs> doing here. This movie fucking sucks. Can you please hover up those leaves? Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Finally, Lyle. stranger things have happened. Lyle, would you kill yourself if you if your hair flowed like a like witch's hair in every direction forever, like for just from now on? <laughs> Can like I get every a hair that no, yeah, but it's your hair still flows like that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if you had short hair. Why? I don't know, because you'd look cool. This looks- it looks like you're small. It looks like Toy Story. Lugrini is a wee little man. Dude, the camera just changed. That's so See, cool. This is a good movie. I'd watch this movie. The previous three movies that we made, not very good. But sometimes, it-, it, it you gotta break what a few think, eggs what do you to think make- that, What do you think that right there has a right to be? Is that think we out of the tube? A uh, lot. This is a classic film. Oh my god, be careful! No, Lugrini! A spider! This is a great battle. It's fake, it's not real. It's movie magic. I've made the perfect film, if nothing else. Oh wait, that's what I'm supposed to be getting. That right there. Oh, yeah, but God, Do you guys guess. remember being like a two-year-old, but being like sentient, really smart, like you were like much older? No. Wait, what and, do you and, mean? Like, like when you're like two, but you're like, you're thinking in your own mind and you're like, I'm actually really smart, I'm just <laughs> pretending to be two now. And then you're like squeezing titties and stuff and everyone's like, oh, he's so cute, but you know what you're really doing? Like the movie, uh, Little Man? Yeah. He's just yes. describing Little Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my life. Chris has one Little Man tattoo and one, uh, Juana Man tattoo on him. This well, is, you know, well, this is you gonna know. be some wordplay. What no, Juana no. Man? No, 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 it, literally, that's a movie. You know about Juana Man, right, Lola? Yeah, it's a remake of Man of Juana. Shut up. Juana Man's real! Zach, this is literally the stupidest <laughs> shit you've is, ever made up. Uh, this is the biggest lie. I will lie. fucking pull the, 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 the Wikipedia for Juana Man yeah, up. Yeah, do it. Uh, I remember it so you don't have to, Chris. This is literally oh, your yeah? first dementia moment, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this? A fucking YouTube clip of, of Juana Man? He's got only one option. 
to play as a woman. I'm here. Joanna Man. Joanna Man. Joanna Man. Joanna Man. Yes, Joanna Man. Joanna Man. Oh my God! It Joanna is real. Man. Guys, I gotta start a fire using these tiny props. Any ideas? Well, you are the biggest pyromaniac I've ever fucking met. If you like one more fire in Chris's garbage can, I'm gonna see that bucket on your right there. I gotta grab that. Maybe. Can I take it through here? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I can like carry things. Yeah. Through. All right. Oh, maybe I need to put it in the in the well before I, mm. and she'll bring it back up for me. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's see if that works. Okay. Let's see if I am a genius. Drop that shit. Yes. <laughs> Hooray. I like this little camera zoom here. Yeah, this is neat. She's gonna come back up, holding it. Ah, oh, genuine Yay! scare! Okay, cool. Now you got water, dude. Neat. You better not fucking spill that water, Lyle. This is actually kind of cool. It's so I, weird, I you have, would never I, think of doing I it. I have no idea how I was supposed to get the first step of figuring it out. Yeah. The way that this game has been, this is the first time I've, you've had to, like, solve a puzzle outside of its own room. Also, just picking up the, bu the bucket to begin with, it just looks like it's part of the background. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. All right. It definitely does kind of point you in the right direction there, though. I mean, yeah, I, I guess there's a reason it seems like cryptic and stupid if there you, you just play it. Lugrini is a mighty warrior. He cannot be stopped. I'd vote for him. Me too. I don't even think Lugrini is a sentient. L Lugrini might be like a monster, a creature, no <laughs> less. That ghost is so sad. Wouldn't you be if you were that ghost? I'd be in mental anguish. Probably, yeah, everyone would. Lugrini must witness a fire. Lugrini is the the cow from that uh that time that cow lit that fire. You remember the the famous instance? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a, a historical thing where a cow lit a fire. Really? Yeah. Or it's it, it might be an urban legend. It might be just some fucking idiot that was like, oh, the story goes that the cow kicked over a lantern and it caused a fire. Oh. I was expecting Methane to be part of it. If someone's cow caused a fire, you'd want that person executed. I'm gonna come out and say it. My grandma had a three-legged cow called Hitler. Did she execute it? No, she let it live a lovely life. She shouldn't have. I know. That would be good to like, if you had an animal that you were gonna kill for food, just call it something like Hitler or Mussolini. <laughs> it helps you get over it. Yeah, it helps you not- Whoa! That's... Whoa! Alright. That works. <laughs> uh, that wasn't really what I was intending to do, but alright. There we go. The puzzle solved completely naturally without any outside help. <laughs> Yo, Zach. I thought of an important question. Who would you vote for a video game character as president? Who do you uh, think would win, actually? Not who would you. Who do you think would, would actually become a president if they came into the real world? Who would just be the most attractive person? Do you think Sonic could actually become president? No. no dude. You don't think people no, would no, vote six, for Sonic six, as no. a joke? No. <laughs> you don't think people would be like, Sonic's gonna blow up the no, system, it, it we're gonna be, get some real change and then would, vote for would, Sonic? It, only 18 year olds would vote for Sonic. 50 year olds in Iowa and like Wisconsin, who are like most of the voter base in the US, which is not a bad thing, they just are. But just think they about it. They would not it. vote for Sonic. They would absolutely not vote he for Sonic. He would become essentially like a Superman in this world. He, he's like an actual a sentient, intelligent... It would, no, it'd have to be like somebody like Nathan Drake or something. He'd be like a weird human with like an Orwood Zero. <laughs> Nathan Drake would not fucking get a vote. He, he, he you're wrong. Would... I think you're wrong, man. He'd be like a Reagan. I think, uh... You think he'd do, like, Beto O'Rourke shit where he'd come in yeah. on, a, on a skateboard? <laughs> being, be, be, like, repulsive as a, as, a, as a politician is actually almost always, like, a little bit of a, uh... A okay. A barrier. Well, let's go through some people, and who do you think could actually become president? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Professor Oak. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. He, he'd be like the top three. He'd be like no, the Mark... No, I think he's too smart. He, I think yeah. that would... People wouldn't like, like that. Would, they would he, say he has no he'd, charisma. He'd be, like, he'd be like number two or number three in the primaries. He'd be like, uh... He'd probably only have, like, projected, like... Like... He'd probably only have, like, one-tenth of the delegates needed to be the nominee, but he'd still stay. And he'd be like John Kasich. Okay. He would stay until the very end. Uh, Captain Falcon. <laughs> yeah, he'd be the yeah. he'd be the Republican nominee for sure. Yeah, yeah. but like he's obviously a, he's, a, he's not he's in his Republican. Captain Falcon. Also, fucking outfit. Luigi's making giant or tiny husband videos. Yeah. What the fuck's going on here? Can you cut from this to tiny husband <laughs> driving? <laughs> uh, I, I th Whoa! Oh shit! That's awesome. Oh, uh, do you remember that video of the woman? She's like, 
the stand in temporary. She's a puppeteer, so she's making it go. For the actual Godzilla movie? Yeah, for, for like one of those kinds of movies. I didn't see that. It's pretty good. But uh, back to our little thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you think Captain Falcon, if he was not in his garb, you would? I think probably... Captain Falcon's definitely a Republican. Okay. And I think um, he, yeah, I think and I think he'd be the nominee. Donkey yeah. Kong. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think so no. either. No. Yeah, could, could I, think, I think basic verbosity is probably necessary. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Ganondorf. Uh. I could see him getting pretty far. He'd, he'd be like the VP. But I, he'd be the VP pick, but he'd lose. He would. He'd be. He'd be like. He'd be like uh, Tim K in 2016. You think you, you could train Ganondorf to be a politician? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't think so. Seems like an idiot. Ganondorf? He's, like, <laughs> He's just an idiot. Yeah. That that was his whole thing in Ocarina of Time is he got the king to trust him. Yeah, I know, but like kings back then were stupid. Now we got like <laughs> mobile phones recording at your every move. We got this. Uh. This is epic. Give me another <laughs> video game character. I want to wanna know if they'd, they'd oh. be a legal representative for the common man. Uh, Homer from The Simpsons Hit and Run. Absolute landslide. He'd be like Reagan 84. There's. He, I think if Homer was real, people would vote for it. If Homer was real and he was the, but he was the Homer from Homer, a Simpsons. Uh, Homer, I guarantee Homer's you, <laughs> there's already a Simpsons episode where Homer just becomes president. Lisa becomes president. But listen, Homer from this. This is like a Dragon Ball Z moment right here. This is, like push, this is like pushing the thing back and forth. Oh wait, no, I know what I gotta do. Uh, we're greedy, yeah. How about Tommy Pickles from Game Boy Color, Babies in Time? No, he would be like Alf Landon, he would get like six electoral votes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That uh, would be yeah. embarrassing for whoever ran, because yeah. that would be like, you know like, you know like wouldn't it be funny if I ran my baby? You know what, She's the, just going you know for what? Instagram I likes see or Tommy, something. Like Alf Landon and other, and other historical losers, I, Tommy Pickles would be like the nominee like three times before the party decided to take him off, you know what I mean? I just like the idea of like a, a side view of like a sprite of Tommy being up on a podium. People, I think the average voter would not connect with him. The yeah. average voter would go bananas. He would talk about eating baby food and like having a little <laughs> screwdriver in his diapy. I mean, it wouldn't really be... Wouldn't he wouldn't be able to voters. talk. It's just the no, text box would appear. His head would also oh, snap. Oh yeah, he's also a baby. <laughs> yeah, and he's, and he's minus one years old. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm trying to think of other humanoid game characters because you would never vote for an animal anyways. No, Sonic would lose, definitely. Uh, humanoid game characters. Dante from Devil May Cry. The Noid, the Noid would be... The but Noid would fucking lose. He's deformed I think and stupid. I think, he'd, I think he'd landslide popular vote-wise. I, I think wise. the Noid... Yeah, the Noid would the, start the Noid, slow if, and then rapidly yeah. pick up every debate he <laughs> the would Noid, get. The Noid, yeah. would have like, the Noid would have like 6% uh, average, you know, national polls for the primary like a few months before Iowa. Mm. But he'd be like Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton. The Noid would be like the comeback kid. He'd steal Iowa, steal New Hampshire. He'd, he'd okay. coast his way. And then I think in the general election, I think it would be like Richard Nixon versus George McGovern, 1972. I think the Noid's... I think the Noid would be a great kid. Candidate, mm -hmm. but his opponent would be an extremist. Okay. So people would hate his opponent more than they'd love the Noid. That's completely fair. But the fair. Noid would win 60.2% of the popular vote. <laughs> I, Does that make sense? It makes sense to you. That it would be real. <laughs> the, Noid, the Noid, mark my words, if the Noid is ever 3D cloned into real life, 3D printed, he mm. will win 60% and decides to run for politics. Mm -hmm. It becomes a nominee. He will win 60% of the popular vote. Okay, that's fair. Sue me, take me to court if I'm wrong. Okay. Shoot me in the back of the head when I'm not looking. <laughs> if I'm wrong. I'm a star. Whoa, he talks English. Yeah, he does. Whoa. <clears throat> also, Chris. Luigi just befriended that ghost. He didn't even try to kill it with his vac vacuum or no, I'm happy nothing about like that. that. Yeah. Chris, how sad I'm would you be if you, could, if you could look into an orb and see your death and you saw that your last moment alive was you looking at a picture of the Noid smiling? And of he who? Got the Noid smiling. The Noid, and he got shot Do in the back I have, of the head. I don't want to kill this guy. And he got shot in the back of the head like American Beauty. The, that was the last thing, like, you were smiling at that picture and you died. Would you be sad about that? I'd be just really mad about that. <laughs> Why? Because that's such a, like, a shitty end. Like, a nonsensical, doesn't mean anything. Well, it's not even, it's not even like you love the Noid or this is some alternate- This, this is, is a like, Zack Hadle joke ending no, of my life. No, it's not. Look, here's- <laughs> it's even sadder, it's even sicker and sadder than that because you actually- Someone gifted you a picture of that as a joke. Mm -hmm. So it actually makes sense in reality. It's not like you're loving the Noid, okay. you're actually just- You're like, oh, this is a silly gift from- Lyle for my 50th birthday. Yeah, okay. he, gave you, he gave you a picture of the Noid. I'd just be mad that he would assume I was into the Noid after knowing me for so long. That's Are you Ly not? That's Lyle's Luigi <laughs> soda right there, that cat thing. I thought that was the reason why you ordered Domino's all the time, is because you, you have fond memories of the Noid from childhood. 
He wants to know to come and steal the pizza. I forgot pizza. that he was even associated with Domino's. Is that what is that, what that piece of shit's known for? I always thought he was yeah. a, a McDonald's thing. The Noid? Isn't he Domino's? He is, I, you're right, but <laughs> I'm just saying that he, he means so little to me that I forget. What is this fucking cat doing? I'm getting sick of, like, little creatures swallowing what you want and running away. <laughs> that has happened, like, 40 times. It's just like in real life. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens in politics all the time, yeah. <laughs> a, small little Trump, little, a small creature Nan swallows what you want. Nancy Pelosi Kill that swallowed, fucking guy, swallowed the key to no, the White House he, and he ran off. he gave me the thing kill willingly. Him. Kill him. Where's that cat? I'll kill the cat. I don't want to kill the guy. That guy better not be harboring the cat. If this game makes me fucking pull the trigger on that dude, much like our beloved friend the Noid, I'll be pretty mad. That was Donald Trump's new catchphrase. Pull the trigger on that... On that Noid? Yes. <laughs> Take that noise out! Take him out! We don't uh, want him. That noise is so red and also skill colored. I like this guy because he, he yeah. edits his own movies. Yeah. This He's guy's... like, um, who's the guy that made, uh, Mad Max? Uh, George Miller. Chris, if you could gain 26 points on your IQ, so you're like a genius basically. But you have to gain four inches on, of your head, like up, up, like lengthwise. <laughs> like like so Jimmy just, Neutron? Sort of, it's like, you're, the top of your head is the same shape, it's just like longer, it's like a perfect tube. The last thing I need is more, like, reasons to hate my head. But, but listen, yeah. you gain a 26 points on your IQ. Yeah. That's, you could really, like, you become like a whiz at so many things. I don't need to be a whiz at so many things. But whatever whiz you're at now, you'd be a double whiz. But the smarter you get, the more unhappy you get, because you, you realize how shit everything is. That's true. But that's why you, so you're smart, because you're smarter, so you can be better. I don't want to be smart. I don't like being stupid. I don't like being dumb. I don't like being stupid. I don't like being common. Also, 20 points isn't, like, it's a 26. lot, but it's not, it's not that yeah, wait, much. The average IQ is, what, like 100 or something? Yeah. 90, late... Isn't, isn't it done so that it is literally 100 is average? I think so. My IQ is, like, 700. I, I checked. Like, yeah, mine's, like, 790... Mine's, like, like, 701 or something. You're just lying, because <laughs> cause I was just lying. Oh, yeah. Mine is actually 17,000, so... Oh, yeah, it's, it's funny, because mine's actually, like, 17,000 and also one, I think. So you were lying both times. No, just the... No, no I was telling you the truth the second time. Well, I was lying the second time, because mine's actually 50,000. So, I guess you're yours, actually really yours, stupid compared to me. But is yours 50,000 and one? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of this bit? It's pretty it's good. It's called Chris has a number and I had one to it for 30 minutes. <laughs> That's literally what this fucking asshole I used to fucking That's talk to did. Yeah. Uh, kids would also I'm do that. Thing. Infinity. Yeah, it's like. And then the other one says it's Infinity. I remember. Time. I'm, dude, I, I was a fucking bitch growing up. I used to like role play Final Fantasy oh. with my friend down the road. I almost spit out. And we. we, we <laughs> <laughs> he had a bedroom with two beds in it. We'd stand on each bed and just face each other and bob up and down, pretending like we're characters <laughs> from the game. And fucking. I'd be like, I attack you. And he'd be like, I dodge. I'd be like, you f no, you did. You can't dodge. Yeah, I have a shield. It really is a miracle. Like, none of us are like. Like, like in a padded cell right now, like, cause, cause I used to do the same stuff where it was, and I was way too old for it, man. <laughs> I was way too fucking old to know better. Yeah. I was like eight, nine, ten. I was way late on like stopping playing with action figures and role playing and stuff. Yeah. I'd always pretend Pokemon real. I, it really is a miracle I'm not sedated in some some padded little area. Now. There we go. Yeah. Fuck you, cat. Oh yes. My God. Yeah. That's exactly yeah, what it deserves! It. I'm so happy to see a cat get fucking beat around like that. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Do you know that forklifts are considered the safest, most fun things you can drive around a warehouse? Yeah. Nobody ever gets hurt on a forklift. They have the highest, like, safety. It's like that thing where it's like, there's more car accidents than plane accidents. Mm -hmm. There's never been a forklift death. Never. For know. real though, kids, don't get into a forklift and impale it in your dad's head. Trust me. Unless it's really, really funny. Okay, so it just went into the <laughs> fucking floor? And it gives you something to make a TikTok about. <laughs> yes. Did you see the picture of an ECO on a court? Where with he's like, wearing like a fucking... He's like wearing sneakers and like a bulletproof vest. A bulletproof vest, yeah. Who, does he think he's like fucking Malcolm X or something? Someone's gonna... Sh <laughs> 15 guys with I think he's a very paranoid dude. Yeah, yeah. definitely. To be fair, I could see there being people that actually want to shoot him. But it's because he's a huge Yes. Can you please put the thing out of its misery, please? I really <laughs> want to. It looks like it's not happy with anything happening in its life. If I was life. that thing, I'd fucking jump off a bridge. Me too. I think most sane... Look, like a sentient, like, what is that, a laundry it's hamper? a trash can or some shit. <laughs> they should make a robot based on Lyle.
just have it not be able to beat Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Dude, I thought this was a fucking easy <laughs> game for shit babies, but apparently this is real fucking, real fucking nonsense. It takes like 17 years to build. What is this? I don't know what this is. If this has over a million views, I'm gonna fucking be so mad. It's got 9,000 views. Oh, thank God. I don't know. Anyway, while I was blasting, uh, while I was blasting hot diarrhea all over your fucking toilet, I had an epiphany completely coincidentally, and I didn't look it up. You had Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. I had Tiffany for a while. Yes. Back in the summer. There we go. And then I just had this epiphany. What if I use this? To open them up? Yeah. The thing that shows you objects which cannot be seen. You know, like you would use it on a garbage can. Yeah. Just like that. Anyway, that was my epiphany. I can't believe you had that epiphany just Damn. now. I really did. You know, you know what they say. If you ever need to have a thought, uh, take a shower, take a shit. Anything that evicts the bowels, like you do in the shower. Well, how many, how many Scooby Snacks would you have to take to oh. be a human toilet for a day? <laughs> a human toilet? That's right. Imagine for a moment that your mouth is the size like, now. Like that disgusting Sonic <laughs> fan art? <laughs> yeah, something like that. So and not just in your own house, in Heathrow Airport. <laughs> no, you know, you're in public. Dude. Yeah, you're in a public. No, there's one. You're the only toilet in, yeah, the middle of, like, LAX. Man, I don't know if imagine, there's any imagine, amount of imagine, money. No, for 24 hours, only 24 hours. Yeah, I would have to I would have to be able to pay for enough therapy to think that that was like a bad dream I had or something. Like I, I would have to You could probably get hypnotized to think that. There's probably some some doctor in <laughs> Russia or Singapore or something that will give you like a medical concussion that will make you forget something. Yeah. If that exists, then then mayhap I will consider this uh this horrid poo poo idea. The, I don't think it's that horrid. I think it's Pretty fair trade-off. It's kind of a normal situation. Yeah. The old uh, human toilet debacle. If Lyle, if you were my human toilet, I'd make sure to shit in you only once a day. And I'd pet you, I'd give you little pieces of carrot, little carrot I'd pieces. scratch your chin after every use. <laughs> Thanks! Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what brothers are for, man. Oh my god, you're slaying children now? Yeah, these are the, the ghosts of, uh, babies that weren't baptized. Aw, babies. They don't pass on. <laughs> And then oh. Luigi sucks them up and sends them to hell. I love sucking up babies. And he says, This isn't what a god I would have wanted. The more you talk, the more I squawk. Don't you know? <laughs> Damn. That's another gullible. What riddle. a stipulation. <laughs> yeah, the more, the more it talks, the more you squawk. The more it talks, the more it squawks. As it bends <laughs> over, it looks to the sky. It's the wind. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, stupid. That is fucking funny.